Hello, my friends, and welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well. And today we are back in business. Grom the Ponch must feast. Take out and uh, cramp some pointy ears. Welcome to the stream, my friends. We are going to be playing Grom the Ponch on the glorious Vortex campaign. Now, Mortal Empire certainly is something we may do down the road, but for today, the Vortex is the one that does have the glorious uh, kind of final battle, and it's also a little bit more of an expedient campaign, so we shall be doing that one. So Grom the Paunch, what does he do? He does have access to his cauldron effect. So basically, over the course of the campaign, you gather a bunch of uh, ingredients. So apparently one of them is Centigore milk. There's all sorts of crazy stuff. And you can cook these recipes that basically buff up your army. Uh, temperate Islands, obviously the High Elves hate you. You do have the Wa, and each of the Greenskin armies, as you've seen in the uh, the rework, have access to a unique unit in their Wa. Now he gets Pump Wagons, which probably isn't the strongest of the uh, bonus units, but certainly not bad. Global recruitment duration for goblin units, so he's very much a goblin-focused campaign, and his goblins become pretty scary for sure. Even like baseline goblins can really crump some gits, to say the least. Down below, leadership when fighting against elves, physical resist for goblin units in your army, and you also do get upkeep reduction for chariot and pump wagon units, regenerates, blah blah blah. And your starting units are river trolls, the stone trolls, and the mighty pump wagon. So you get one with spiky rollas to start off right away. Armor sundering, pretty good against the dwarves that actually start directly to the south. Welcome to the stream, guys. It's going to be a good time. I'm very excited. Yeah, the Centigore milk, I know. Pump wagons only. Well, don't worry, my friends. We will have a ton of pump wagons when we start out this campaign. We're going to have at least like eight or nine of those things. Yes. So uh, literally Bob Ross. The reason why everyone is playing the Vortex variant of this campaign is simply because the Vortex does actually have a unique kind of a, it has like cutscenes. It has a custom battle at the very end, whereas Mortal Empires does not. So you're missing out on the final moments of the campaign that are very unique to both Grom the Paunch and Eltharian if you're playing in Mortal Empires. Granted, it's a whole different experience, and I think it could be very fun, but I really like the Vortex mission for these characters. I think it's uh, really, really well done, and uh, it's also very quick. Uh, I think Eltharian the Grimm's campaign, I'm actually going to be uploading Eltharian's campaign separately. It just went up at 9 o'clock. Uh, it just went up just now. Uh, basically, Eltharian's campaign is probably the fastest campaign in the entire game. It is so quick. Sick Narf Epop, thank you so much. Yes, the WA is here. Let me go ahead and pull up one more thing, guys, and we'll get started with this campaign. Just going to let a couple more folks gather before we get this party started. We'll be all good to go. Again, welcome. Time to crump. Time to crump indeed. If you have any questions, do let me know. Oh, man, I love this campaign. This is uh, this campaign so much fun. I, like, I think actually after this one, I might want to do a Scarsnet campaign too, since that one was like super hard before, but I hear it's, and from my experience of testing it out, it seems a lot easier now. Sicknarf, thank you so much for the uh, generous donation. No, I'm never going to get Tech-Tac-Toe. It's a meme. It's never going to happen. All right, let's get this party started, guys, and have some fun. The waystones that guard all elven souls grow faint. Althuan is weak, still reeling from a ferocious greenskin assault. It barely survived. The Grim Warden of Tor Ivres has not rested since driving back the green invasion. Prince Haltharion must be prepared. There will come a day when the Goblin King returns. It is only a matter of time. For in the desolate Southlands, a war of unimaginable power brews. Wargos Grom, most feared and most colossal of all goblins, has long craved a second chance to annihilate the Asal. That time is now. Althuan will drown beneath a green tide. There must come the war to end all wars. But Grom's horde will meet a wall of unstoppable Asur might. Eltharion will defend his homeland unto his dying breath. This is his vow. The Grim Prince and the Goblin King, two souls sworn to vengeance upon each other.
Pretty cool uh, cinematic for sure. <laughs> I love the Goblin King just sitting on his chair like an absolute pimp. Uh, Mr. Hamster, thank you for the donation. He says, what do you think about Legend of Total War's statement that 99% of infantry in Warhammer 2 is a waste of money? Now, he has some valid points if you're playing on Legendary Difficulty. When you play on Legendary Difficulty, there are substantial penalties. I mean, your opponents get really good melee attack buffs. So to mitigate you know, the melee attack buffs of your opponent, you basically spam ranged units. You send in single entities to tank them or abuse magic or kind of you know different mechanics in the game. So uh, yeah, infantry get a lot weaker if you're on Legendary Difficulty for sure. Uh, Tavarius Takeover. Gather the lads. It's time for Crumpin'. It is, man. Dr. Crumpenstein is in uh, in town, and we're going to be crumping some dudes. And Low Moonhopper, thank you for the 20 GKK. Let's listen to the Poncha's speech. Had a bit of time off, but enough rest and recuperation. Now, Grom is ready for some more fighting, looting, and most importantly, eating. Everyone thought I was done for after the punch up with the pointy heads. So now I gotta remind all the boys who's boss. First, I just gotta smash these runty spider goblins, bring them all into submission. Next, we'll crump through the dead things in the desert, see if we can pick up a few stragglers from the badlands on the way. <laughs> Then we're good to work. But the big prize is on the pointy heads island across the sea. Oh, I once had me a good rampage up there. With the crazy shame an old black tooth egging me on. He said we had to destroy everything. As if I wasn't gonna. And then... We ended up at the gates of that shiny old city. Yeah, the loot was good, but the fighting was better. We had us a right good scrap. Then Blacktooth went and lost his head, and all the boys packed it in the gates. That grim old pointy head thinks he's won. But it's time to show him Grom is still the best. The lads is back in town. Let's go ahead and get this started. So we do have the Defishy Title Muncha. This is our hag. I don't think I ever want to change that name. <laughs> so basically you start here and you have Mount Arachnos to the south. So we're certainly going to go crump those guys. And then we have to get the dwarves over at Karak Zorn. Yes, I know. I know you've told me. We do have a unique item as well. So let's get the hag, put the hag in the army, let's replenish some troops. And I believe, yeah, we start off with that item right away. Let me double check. Uh, maybe we don't. Maybe we have to do something first. Boot him out. I could have sworn we started with an item. Okay, so Karakarud. We do have the pump wagon building, which we will keep. Eventually we'll set it up somewhere else. And we definitely just want to get growth infrastructure for now. Let's head on down. Down, down to Goblin Town. And we're going to go for the, uh, hmm, probably go for growth, go for go bigger. We're just going to go here and then we'll go back up and get the goblin stuff. But for now, getting the growth immediately in this region will be quite helpful. All right, so we're rolling. The big thick goblins coming to town. Don't really need to fight this. We'll auto resolve that. Should be able to heal up everything here and we will occupy this. Now, Mount Arachnos is really cool because you actually start with, uh, I know Grom's just all excitable today. Replenish troops. Release the pump wagons! So we're going to recruit a ton of pump wagons here. Pump wagons are so good. They're just such a good unit. This is Mortal Empire. Yeah, yeah, Mortal Empire. And squash them. Yeah, I know. You're going to squash some dudes with your massive girth. So you can see here, here's the cauldron. So these are all different things we'll pick up across the way. So win a battle against any army containing certain units. So you can see each of these has a different qualifier to unlock it, which is quite fun. And uh, yeah, let's us know what's up. So once we get a couple pieces, you can't do it with just one. You can see here, if we had this, it gives regeneration to our goblin troops, but we need to get another piece of the pie before we can uh, start cooking it as well as some scrap. So we got the recruitment of those guys, and now we're gonna go ahead and hang out. We could recruit some units with global recruitment as well, but I think we're okay. Mount Arachnos does also have a unique building. Mm -hmm. Do I wanna keep this? If I upgrade this, this does let us get night goblins, but it's a ways off. So I'm just gonna destroy this for now and get the unique building in Mount Arachnos when we can. Oh yeah. 
we'll go over the uh, abilities on the hag, sure. We'll take a look at everything, don't worry, guys. Over the course of this, uh, you know, probably two-hour stream, two, three hours, who knows, we'll uh, take a look at everything and have some fun. All right, so it wants us to get, yeah, so we have to get scrap. If you get scrap, uh, it's your first mission. It gives you Black Tooth's head in a jar, which allows you to summon a rogue idol in battle, which is super strong, obviously. Don't need to explain why. Rogue idol's pretty beast mode. And here, okay, it wants us to kill Arachnos, which is not a problem. This uh, building here has a squig's nest at Mount Arachnos. It's super good. It gives you growth. It gives you uh, squig hoppers, which are really, really good in this campaign. All right, so do we want to get the Arachnos building as well? They have a unique building here. It does give us a little bit of dough. And spider hatchlings as well, which we don't really need considering we have pump wagons. So I think I'm just going to go for the uh, the shiny the shiny bits there. So we'll move down here. Mount Arachnos, uh, they should be coming out to fight. They might come out and meet us, but... More pump wagons is always the answer. Is there any diplomacy? I mean, we are, we're Grom de Ponch. You don't really care about diplomacy. <laughs> it's, it's not our jam. Yeah, no, we're good. All right. <laughs> See you guys in the next turn, I guess. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing the Vortex, correct. All right, perfect. So they came out before our recruitment cycle, but not a problem. We'll fight this. And once we take this guy out, we actually get to confederate his, uh, all of his buildings, which is really cool. It's a choke point battle. They have some trolls, but we have, we have two trolls and a hag. And the hag is so strong with her big old meat sack that she just clubs people with. <laughs> the pimp wagons. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't been calling them pimp wagons. All right. Anyways, let's get our goblins here. We want them to come out a little bit. So then the uh, pump wagons can like slam into them from the sides. Although pump wagons are actually good in like frontal engagements as well, believe it or not. In my experience, the uh, the river trolls are, are the better variant. They're really, really tanky. Grom the paunch. Let's get the hag with her meat sack. Pump wagons and pump wagons. Boom, boom. Start deployment, start battle. Fast forward. So uh, Grom's unique wah. We'll take a look while they advance. If you guys take a look here, it does actually heal, which is really cool. So you can heal your whole army. And aside from that, it gives pretty much the same stuff as the other Waz do. But uh, Grom's, his unique thing is the fact that it does heal your army, which is great. Grom's Vortex Goals, we'll take a look after this. My apologies, I should have gone over that right away. All right, so here comes the Haggard Legion of my foe. Grom the Punch could go do some trolling, but there are some trolls up there and archers, so I don't want him to take unnecessary damage. We have Spirit Leech, we have the Vomit, so let's go ahead and throw up on the Orc Air Boys here in a second. That'll be fun. Here she goes. Oh yes. Look at this proud, look at this proud wench. <laughs> She's got a power vomit though. The range is so far. Ah, uh, maybe not as far as I thought. We might have to be the aggressors here. Come on. Do it, lady. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at that glory. That's not bad. I mean it's 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 free real estate, right? You know what, screw it. We can just fight a big blob pipe with these guys. We don't have to like be too tactical. Uh, we just gotta make sure we shoot the trolls with our uh, archers. We'll put them in group five. These are river trolls. All right, let's go you guys here, you guys here, and you guys can hang out here for now. And the pump wagons, we can slam into the sides. The pump wagons we can push through eventually. Yeah, there we go. Get you guys going. Grom the Ponch can kind of work his way in here. And the Hag has some death magic if you want. Go Ponch, get onto those archers. Oh boy, the, the Ponch is being attacked by trolls. The troll toll may be paid, we'll find out. Spirit Leech here, Ponch pulls back. Pump wagons are now coming in. Yes, pump those wagons up. Pump the jams. Grom the Ponch is like surrounded by something. It seems like I'm like pinned in by some of my own units. All right, there we go. Yes, the Ponch rides. The pump wagons pump. The initial wave of my allies, their enemy's army is broken. You know, Ponch and the Hag, his his lovely wife here, can probably uh, do some good damage and take this out. Grom does have bonus for infantry, so get up there. Yes. We'll have our Wah here in a second. They'll probably get theirs first, simply because uh, I think they have more melee units. Some pump wagons. Actually, there's some spider hatchlings back there. What's really cool about pump wagons, though, is they're uh, pretty good in sustained combat, actually. Like, you can leave them in, and they kind of work like a melee piece as well, as like a chariot. Oh, he hit the Ponch's wife. The Bride of the Ponch. That's what we should name her. All right, the pump wagons are pushing in. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty disgusting throw for sure. So we're going to use this now, and you can see it heals the paunch, it heals everyone. It's really, really nice. And as soon as we defeat this army, again, we get access to the entire faction. We might actually steal their river trolls, too, if we don't defeat them. Yeah, like, transfer those over. That's actually a really nice early catch for us. So we don't want to kill the river trolls outright. Yeah, there's still 10 models here. We're fine. All right, pump wagons, pump up the jams. 
Get through to the archers. Let's get our archers back. Make sure everyone's pushing forward. We can just leave them like this. Which is fine. Actually, I think we'll take out three bits. River trolls, come on. Stay away. Give us army losses. I wanna I wanna take those river trolls if we can. Go after these archers. Yep, there's army losses. <laughs> the brides of Grom. <laughs> He's like a Mortan a Mortan Joe. He just has all these like, yeah, brides from Mad Max. Alright, uh, let's end the battle. So I, I could have like kept fighting to try and get a second wall, at which point we can then heal up even more, right? But if we can get the river trolls from this guy's army, that'd be really sweet. So Grom's Wa, uh, it heals. It, aside from basic, you know, melee attack damage or melee attack and just base damage, it also does, heals you for about four or five hundred HP. Your whole army, which is really good. Yeah, it's really really solid. Thank you for joining today, guys. It's gonna be a fun stream. Uh, do you want the casualty replan? Probably treasury, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so it should give us the option to confederate now. Just a moment. Yes, we got the scrap. <clears throat> Here we go. Form confederation. Perfect, because now we can take the uh, trolls, which is like a huge win for us. We'll take some orc air boys too, maybe. Nah, we don't need those. We'll take the trolls, plus we'll take the uh, lost plateau. This recruitment infrastructure, which we don't need. All right, so let's go down here. Oh, that's right. We have to be in the same stance, don't we? That's really annoying. Why can I not do that? Huh. Like, it won't let me trade with his army. Maybe if I do this. Maybe it's because they're in the march. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so what we'll do is we'll move Gronch and... <laughs> Gronch. <laughs> move him into the city for now. Let's level him up. Uh, Blue tree isn't bad for him. I mean, upkeep and stuff is fine, but I think we're going to get uh, the uh, de lads first, the gabos. This is actually a really good upgrade. It gives ammunition, missile strength, melee attack for all your goblin units. So we're going to get that first, and then we can go down blue tree if we want. Uh, we're going goblin. Yeah, we're going to go goblin and troll. So for the hag, we'll go down magic. So what does she have? She has this unique tree here, which is a combat tree. You can see it just gives you know the basic stuff, but it gives you mither, which is uh, really good for lowering speed. More of a multiplayer ability, but... Um, yeah, pretty good combat stuff. Mostly, we're going to be going down the caster tree. And, uh, yeah, she's got Immortality, Teach Him Right. You know, a couple of fun abilities up there. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the, uh, the pretty much this whole stack. Because Grom, Grom can recruit here, so we're just going to cut them all and then keep the trolls for next turn. Yeah, should be fine. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working before. Seems like it is now. We got two river trolls, which is great. And we can go ahead and ship this little guy. Oh yeah, Grom is, he's pretty thick. And now we actually have two. Okay, so we have troll meat, and then we also have green spores. And we can make something. So now we can make shroom of awful sausage. So this gives us charge bonus for Grom, regeneration for goblins in our army, and also gets his reputation and growth in all provinces. Uh, the Greenskin Legendary Lords and Campaign Simmericks, they're all really good now, for sure. Much better. So we're going to cook. So how this works is, for 15 turns, we get the effects of this. And you can just keep recooking it if you have the recipe, as long as you have the scrap. So currently, we've got that food going. So to beat the campaign with Grom, if you take a look at the Vortex victory, we have to destroy the following faction, which is a Vress. Shouldn't be too hard. And then we have to win the final battle at the end. In order to ch uh, challenge for the final battle, we have to have cooked 15 dishes, or 12 dishes. So we can't uh, challenge for the final battle until we cook 12 dishes. But once we do that, you can just teleport there at any time. Uh, I think that the Stone Trolls are better than the River Trolls because they're much more durable. Stone Trolls have Missile Resist, Magic Resist, more uh, damage output, more armor, and they just stay longer and fight longer, whereas the River Trolls do have a nice debuff, but it's not quite as impactful. So now we have this item, casting item. We have the Black Tooth's head in a jar, so we can put this on our Hag, and she'll have the ability to actually summon uh, a Rogue Idol. So from here, get a couple more pumps, pump up the jams. Everything's good in terms of building. Next turn. <clears throat> the bangers and mash ability, yeah. It uh, gives us growth, gives us all kinds of stuff, regeneration on our goblins. The cooking mechanic is really strong, actually. All right, so uh, what do we want to upgrade? Mount Arachnos is the one we want to upgrade first. And here, what else do we want to get? Is there any like cheapo infrastructure we really want? We could honestly just get more growth, more shiny piles of money. We'll do that. So next we have to hit the dwarves at Karig Zorn. 
Hey, thank you so much, Robbed Gold. Hey, Turin, I've been watching for a few years, but I've never catched a stream. Just wanted to show some love. Thank you, man. It means a lot. Really appreciate it. So, yeah, we're going to go hit the dwarves next. We basically just want to take out Karak Zorn, which normally would be pretty hard for Greenskins, but uh, it is walled, I think. Yeah, it is. So what we do with Karak Zorn, we just sit here and we just go into Raiden Camp. So we're going to raid here, which gives us three scrap per turn and also gives us money. And then once the dwarves uh, probably recruit another army, we'll attack that army to pull them out into the open, and it should be an easy fight for us. All right. So now we're going to get uh, Gaudi Gabos, or Gabi Gabos, to uh, get upkeep production, all kinds of buff for the goblins. Blake Sanders, making his way to the ring, weighing in at 758 pounds, accomplished by his manager and hype goblin Niblet. He's the baddest kid in the Badlands, Grom de Ponge. Hell yeah, man. Uh, you know what? I think we will have a goblin faction in the next faction war. Yeah, Grom the Ponches. I think that's a really good idea. All right, so we'll pass turn. Oh yes, this is uh, this is our boy Imric over here. So we'll be Imric starts like right next to you when you're playing uh, this faction. So we'll have to crump him. So a hag merchant has appeared up here, which uh, means we can go to her, and it actually opens up a couple of unique mechanics, which is pretty fun. So the dwarves are here. I really don't want to attack the keep. Uh, we also have scrap, so we can upgrade a couple of our pump wagons. I think. No, we don't. We don't have the infrastructure for that yet. We'll get there. For now, we'll save up this. I'd like them to come out and fight me in open field. I could march up here actually and get the. Uh, I'm gonna march up here and get the food merchant, and then we'll go back down and deal with the dwarves. The food merchants are a really important aspect of this campaign. All right, interact with the food merchant. Okay. Sticky fingers, tangled air, battle carrying everywhere. Fishy chunks in me bag. So what boss got from the hag? Gets from the hag. You are approached by a mysterious troll hag food merchant who opens her bag of dead things to offer you its revolting contents. As she licks a profuse amount of drool from her mud crusted lips, she also mentions that she can improve the current dish in your cauldron if you wish, or provide you great rewards if you cook her a dish of her choosing. Huh. So, uh, we can buy... Okay, so we can buy some ingredients if we want. The food merchant challenges you to cook her dish. Completing her challenge unlocks a cauldron ingredient slot and adds funds to your treasury. Food merchant cooks a random recipe. We already have one. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's go ahead and take the cooking challenge. I, I haven't tried this yet. So, it gives us an extra slot. You've accepted the food merchant's cooking challenge. River hags may not be fussy eaters, but neither are they particularly good communicators. Should Grom manage to work out what's in the name it wants? Okay, so basically it's kind of a random thing. It's like, if I cook what she's looking for, it completes it and gives me an extra slot. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I'm not going to declare on the dwarves quite yet. I will soon. I wanted to go get the food merchant, so we're going to go down to the south now, and we will uh, declare on the dwarves as soon as we're in position to strike, and we can try and lure them out too. As long as we get them in open field. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the 200 rubles extra thick. Dude, I love it. All right, so we're moving. We could March Dance. March Dance is a little bit scary here, though. I don't know, you know, what's up with Imric or what's going on with the dwarves here. Okay, so next we're going to do... Um, this one gives melee attack for goblin units. This one gives missile strength and armor for goblin units. The Goblo Crackdown does also get us on to more goblin technology. Probably get go faster though, honestly, to get a little bit of movement speed. Yeah, so basically we have to kind of guess what the hag wants in terms of food. We'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of the hag's uh, the hag's dish eventually. We're pretty limited on ingredients for now. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into ambush dance here. We'll declare war on the dwarves. So hopefully they'll come and you know try and take the Lost Plateau and our ambush will be uh, here waiting for them. All right, looks good to me. Let's do it to it. Come on, dwarves. Come take the Lost Plateau. I know you want it. Oh, I've been discovered, huh? My ambush has been foiled. Yeah, the garrison at Karak Zorn is... Uh, yeah, a siege battle will really suck with our army. What is that? Just getting all kinds of weird notifications. We have Grievitz also. Alright, so as far as our infrastructure goes, we definitely need to get this lot, this last territory here. 
We can upgrade this, we can upgrade this, and then we have a couple other building slots. The public order buildings aren't going to be super useful for us here. Although Mount Arachnos has its unique building, which I believe, yeah, requires tier three. We could get troll tech here just because uh, honestly, we're never going to get giants in the campaign. So getting the trolls wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea at the Lost Plateau. Yeah, not Lost Plateau, Mount Arachnos. Lost Plateau. Hmm. We could get the troll tech there. Yeah, honestly, because it unlocks some of the stuff we want for the campaign. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get a troll cave here and then uh, we can get growth infrastructure here, I think. Italian Spartacus, thank you so much for the two. Yes, this is Vortex. I could run them out of the siege timer, but it's a, it's a very tedious process. So I could go for an ambush here, ambush success chance. We'll try one more turn of ambush, and if it doesn't work, we'll just attack. It'll be fine. Uh, no trade or anything we can really do. There is a unique tier one at Mount Arachnos, but it just gives you spider hatchlings. It doesn't feel like it's super worth it, to be honest. Spider hatchlings are just vastly outclassed by the pump wagons. This is what I was waiting for. So now the dwarves have summoned a second army. It's just one character. So we attack that. We pull everyone into open field. And then we prosper. Uh, so we got our 20 stack. Our hag is leveled up also. So let's get the hag going. Grom the punch. Uh, horrid mass. We definitely want to start going down this tree. So life leeching is good. It's time to uh, lure them into combat. Very good. So yeah. We got the garrison as well, which is fine, but it's all open field and we have like a million pump wagons, so we should be more than fine. Thank you, Ryan. The spider building, it just gives you, it eventually gives you money, so we will get it at some point, but um, it basically just gives you money and spider hatchlings. Yeah. She tells you what you have to cook, by the way. Oh, okay, I'll take a look. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was a mystery. I think in one of the earlier builds I was playing it was. Goblins at the ready. Thankfully, we got that free river troll, too, from the Confederation in the beginning. That was super sweet. Stone trolls. This will be our main beat squad here. Grom. Grom's going to have his wild hogs over here. Oh, my God. Look at the pump wagon Inquisition. Uh, let's put these guys in, too. Oh, yeah. Adriel Alves de Oliveira. Thank you so much for becoming a sponsor here on the channel. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully, you're enjoying the uh, crumping. Yeah, I do think a goblin army is very possible. I mean, if you're playing on legendary difficulty, it might still be hard, but Grom, you guys haven't seen yet. I'll show you some stuff in Grom's tree that just makes goblins like super steroided. We haven't gotten to that yet, but we will. Uh, all ET, we actually know nothing about that. That was something I think was that was on a different build. All right, start deployment, start battle. Let's go pump up the jams. Pump, pump up the jams. Pump wagons are so nasty against dwarves. It's just like, it's just sheer brutality. So we're going to take our main force over here. You can send some pump wagons into the front engagement. A couple will get around the back here. Because they just like, if you send them in in blobs like this, they just wreck the dwarven units so hard. We can actually attack him real quick, see if we can get some freebies. Grom the Punch does have healing too, which is nice. Oh yeah, that's right. And we have the Rogue Idol. Oh, look at this. The Bangers and Mash. Okay, charge bonus and leadership. Oh, I should have used that right there. All right, cool. Snotlings, snotlings. <laughs> we're running over this dwarf lord here. And uh, don't worry, guys. The hag has the rogue idol. So we're going to get a fat erect rogue idol up in their army, too. Come on, pump wagons. Go run over that grudge thrower if you can. Come on, Grom. How are we doing on that dwarf lord? Take him out before his help gets here. All right, we should probably pull back. We don't want to take too much free fire with the paunch. Renowned in fear to Total War Warhammer Podcast. How many stunties does it take for the Paunch Pie? We'll find out right now. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I like how he's just like, fetch. All right, let's pull you guys down here. So we're going to let the goblins and trolls get in there and do their thing. Put the missile pieces in group five. Let's move in now. Muck them up a little bit. Give them a good old proper beat in here. Oh, yeah. This is going to be rough for them. It's going to be rough, lads, and the hag's coming as well, and she's going to be dropping the big old fat rogue idol, too. Let's go, hag. Oh, yeah, here comes the rogue idol, baby. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. All right, so Grom the Ponch is here. Oh, the rogue idol did the atomic body, body slam right there. Yes. All right, so let's get some stone trolls to go uh, take out this rune lord if we can. Hag can spirit leash him as well. Very good. So we need to make sure we get a pump wagon on like every one of these missile pieces. 
Alright, so the artillery piece is broken. The rogue idols just dropping the base on some of the dwarves back here, which is great. Looks good to me, yeah. Stone Trolls should be able to take out that dwarf character pretty easily. So here come the pumps. Oh yeah. It's time to pump up the jams. Pull back this pump wagon here, taking a little bit of unnecessary damage. And we'll have a wah relatively soon too. That was the bangers and mash you guys saw. Let's go, Rogue Idol. Just look at this like big haggard horde of pump wagons just riding down the dwarves in the back. <laughs> the poor dwarf lord. I know, being rode down by a bunch of haggard wagons. All right, let's just chase them off here. So now we're gonna use Grom's Wall, which will actually heal up all our pump wagons too. It's so good. And yeah, you can see in the back, we have way too many pump wagons here. Let's go shut down the thunders. We have Spirit Leech, so we'll just go ahead and Spirit Leech whatever we can click on. Doesn't matter too much. This is like a sign of what's to come for dwarves in multiplayer. <laughs> just pump wagons everywhere. All right. Let's go ahead and get these archers going, the pump wagons in the back. They're just such cheap, like, cost-effective little chariots. I love these things. Let's get the rogue idol. Oh no, he's gonna crumble! He is a summon unit, so of course the rogue idol does disappear over time. I know. I know, the, the, the pump wagons are so good against Dawi. If it were a siege battle, though, it wouldn't have been as easy, for sure. All right, let's pull the pump wagons. We can have one of them chase here, one of them chase here. The rest of them just keep keep slamming into these troops. It's just so much cheap, cost-effective armor piercing. Looks like we have the other uh, Dwarf Lord here. So we'll see if we can get on him. See some... The Stone Trolls getting in there. You can see the Pump Wagons just pumping in. <laughs> oh, here comes the Hag with her Meat Sack! Oh, yeah. It's time. Man, we even earned Chevrons from this. That's pretty good. So we don't need to chase since, uh, actually this is the garrison, so yeah, we do need to chase because we fought outside. Okay, it wasn't a city battle. So we're going to do a little bit of chasing here, guys, if you don't mind. It's just the efficient thing to do. Get some pump wagons to come chase them down, chase them down, because we're going to, ideally I'd like to auto-resolve this next battle. Yes, do as much damage as we can. Yeah, he's, he's very, Grom is very thick. Yeah, he's the thickest of goblins. As big as an orc, they say. All right, looks good. Everyone's chasing. Grom, let's get you busy as well. Yeah, it's the the fatal mistake of the dwarves there was to recruit a second lord to let me. Uh, when you guys are left here, I think just one. Yeah, that's enough. We don't need to game it too much. Oh, we're on very hard, very hard. Yeah, you see, on legendary difficulty, the enemy gets such insane melee buffs that generally you have to really abuse um, single entities, casters, magic. So I wanted to do uh, very hard for this campaign. So I can make sure to show you guys like all the units, not just like the really good ones. What's up, Demon Soul? Yes. So we're doing Vortex because Vortex has a unique ending, which the uh, Mortal Empires campaign does not. So we'll uh, take the captives. 13% is pretty good. And now Grom should be able to uh, hammer the city pretty hard here. So Grom the Paunch has a really insane ability called Down to Size. If you take a look here... It gives the entire goblin army a bonus for large of 10 plus 6 melee attack. It's like, so his goblins become like super solid. So how are we going to level him up? Let's go ahead and get to Gabos. Attack. Wow, it's still not a good auto resolve for us even after all that. Well, I guess we'll fight it real quick. <laughs> close victory. I know, my army's like, I have one goblin who's taken some damage and that was a close victory. Like, look. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to just move in with trolls and pump wagons and just roll down the city walls. Pump wagons actually can take down gates somewhat quick. It's, it's pretty funny. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go straight Mad Max right now, guys. It's time for the maddest of maxes. Get some trolls. We don't need to, like, sacrifice our goblins. Grom actually cares about his goblin people. Let's go. Fast forward here. <laughs> Look at the Mad Max horde just riding towards the gates. Oh yeah, that's so funny. So once we drop the base in the gatehouse here, um, we're taking a little bit of damage, that's okay. And Spirit Leech down you, I guess. And summon a rogue idol too once we get in. Poor little goblins. They can go over here. Alright, so we're in. <laughs> go wagons! Go paunch! Yes, give the bangers and sausage to your people. Alright, so we're riding in pretty dirty here. 
Get a couple guys going here. Okay. So yeah, this is how you roll. Summon a rogue idol just to make it that much more of a stomp. The mighty rogue idol smash. Jump on the thunderers here. Yes, this was clear, cl clearly a battle we needed to fight. The pump wagon doom stack is here, guys. New green skin meta confirmed. Okay, let's roll over here. Is there anything left? Okay, that's it. <laughs> so that's, how you, that's how you do siege battles with Grom the Punch. You get a, a whole wagon train of, uh, <laughs> of the freaking pump wagons and you just roll in there. I did. We dropped the rogue idol in the city. We dropped the base pretty hard. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Dude, Grom's campaign is so much fun. The pump wagons are so good. I mean, eventually we will replace them in this army because they can't, like, do well against, like, Dragon Princes and Elite High Elf units, but... Uh, for now, they they bought an Ikea gate. They did. Is that guy's just checking something? So we have a donation coming in from Limey Panda during that uh, the battle there. What a day, what a lovely day. Nice Mad Max reference. I dig it, man. Thank you so much. Did that say Pyrrhic victory? No, it didn't. No, it's decisive victory. Okay. I was like, what? Oh, do I want to? I'll just occupy it. It's fine. Probably should have sacked it, but it's okay. Uh, so growth building, we'll cut that. Get you going here. The paunch is leveled up once again, so we'll get Dagabos. Dagabos. Makes, you gotta make his goblins all beast mode. Degradon. Degradon, yes, I agree. Soul Blight, always a good ability. Uh, now do we want to get, yeah. So this allows us to get scrap upgrades for our pump wagons. It also gives melee attack to all of our uh, goblin units. So three melee attack for goblin and night goblin units. Pump wagon strength, which obviously we have a ton of, and allows us to use our scraps to upgrade our pump wagon. So we'll be doing that next. Uh, okay, so commandment here. Definitely just going to go for growth and obedience. Stabilize this region. And we'll be all set in just a second. Richard Wirtz! Hot damn, dude. Boom. Keep the great work, my friend. Dude, thank you. Richard Wirtz coming in with the fat hundy. So Grom Special Law, it uh, basically just gives you uh, it gives you uh, healing, so it heals your entire army. Richard Wirtz, man, thank you so much. That's super generous. All right, so Axe of Grom, cook for the Hag, Chanted Cauldron. So you were saying it tells me what to cook. Mushy meats, mushy meats. We want mushy meats. Okay, so I guess mushy meats. We have it. So we have troll meat. And we have, yeah, green spores. So we only have those two right now. So we'll get to her cooking when the time comes. Auto resolve. Richard then, thank you. A paunch. What does this banner do? The Lich, Lichbone banner? Yeah, let's put it on paunch. The hag, it's fine. So we got the uh, sharp stabbers. Paunch is unique upgrade. I don't know if he has one. But our pump wagons can now be uh, scrap upgraded. So we're going to get jagged uh, weapons, which give them an additional bonus for its infantry. So we're going to upgrade a couple of our pump wagons here. We have so much scrap, who cares? That should be fine. We'll do those three. Uh, Jeb Hastings, thank you for the 999. All the tournaments in King of the Hills have been godsend. Super excited for ECL 5. Uh, yeah, we're going to have autogen tournaments, ECL, Faction Wars, a lot of stuff coming up really soon here. And now we get one of the best abilities here, which is down to size. So our goblin units get bonus for its large and melee attack. It's it's so good. So for the River Troll Hag, we'll get Soul Blight upgraded. We can now upgrade our goblins, but I don't know if that's super necessary. And uh, let's get a Mountain Rachno so we can get the Squig Hoppers. Yes. Yes, in Mortal Empires, he starts at uh, Massive Orc Hall, which is correct. You, you are correct. It's in the Bretonian lands. So we're somewhat close to a Wa. I definitely would like to hit Homeboy here, but I want to heal up for a turn before I go out. So we have the Sharper Stabus. I want to get the unique uh, goblin character as my second one, so I think we'll start heading up in that direction. So we'll get the goblin crack down for now. Yeah, it's Rachnik Spider Claw. He's pretty cool. All right, uh, get one more upgrade on our, our dudes here and pass the turn for now. Uh, the pump wagons, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if they count as goblin units, but nonetheless, we're going to have like a ton of fanatics and uh, other units like that in our army at some point, so. I do plan on going pretty hard down the goblin tree. Garrick Zorn, uh, we want to get public order infrastructure soon, but we can't until it upgrades, but they have a gold mine here. Obviously, we want to get the uh, public order building for greenskins, because if you take a look, 
The uh, Public Order building does actually give you uh, a Goblin Big Boss. Where the hell is it? Yeah, it's right here. And then from there, we're going to get the Orc Shaman Hut, which allows us to get the Rogue Idols once we get to a higher tier. So we can recruit some trolls. We can get some trolls. Um, we probably are a little bit heavy on the pump wagon department. So we'll cut two pumps for now. Recruit a couple trolls. Very good. We'll be getting troll upgrades too for our army. We're going to basically go trolls and goblins. That's going to be our theme here. Oh, I'm not really sure, Signarf. We haven't decided that yet. Yeah. Sure, I'll mouse over the goblin stats for you in just a moment. So the Cult of Excess has been destroyed. If you look at my goblins, they currently have 36, 33. With anti-large too, so that's really, really strong. Alright, trolls will be ready in one turn. Up north, it doesn't look like we're being trolled quite yet. Honestly, in this campaign, you don't really get a lot of diplomacy, from my experience. And we'll pass. The widest. The widest. Yes, you are wide, mighty punch. Uh, so on Mortal Empires, the turn timer is super fast, because it, it's so nice. It's it's such like... That's why I also prefer Mortal Empires. Or not Mortal Empires, uh, Vortex. So we'll take the growth. Yeah. From here, we want to get the Goblin Big Boss pen there. Upgrade this, and now we can start moving out, because we have the trolls. So, it is a siege battle, but hmm, there's actually a pretty strong garrison there. Whose territory is this? The Bowmen of Orion. Yeah, these guys actually attack you. Let's see if we can get a non-aggression pack with them, actually. That would be super nice. Let's see if we can like offer a little incentive. Because they attack you. Uh, I played like the first couple turns of this campaign and they attacked me and it was super annoying, so I'm going to offer a payment. Let's see if I can offer them 600 gold to get them to chill out. We'll crump them later for sure, but Grom is a, he's a cunning goblin. Yeah, okay, they're not going to take it, that's fine. We're trespassing too, so they're probably super pissed. So let's go up to uh, this territory. So now we are in the Knights of Kalidor. I'm going to go ahead and go raiding camp. And we'll pass turn. Uh, I missed a big donation uh, from Richard Wirtz? I don't think so. Let me go ahead and double check. Yeah, thank you for bringing that to my attention, though. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with all the chat. Yeah, AI Wood Elves are probably the most annoying thing in the game. Yeah, I agree. So we have a donation from Blade6077. He says, love your streams and videos. Uh, keep it up. Quick question. What is your overall idea to multiplayer with the new units? So with greenskins, I think the most effective way to play uh, with the new units, my friend, is to go super wide. I'm talking just like balls deep wide with like a ton of pump wagons with uh, to get the really big effects from the force multiplying that the greenskins have with like wah and things like that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Blade. Appreciate that. All right. So we're going to uh, take war to Imric. Hopefully it goes well. We have the gold mining pit. Karak Zorn will get walls there like as soon as we possibly can. How does he feel towards us? Yeah, AI Wood Elves are the worst. I 100% agree. Everything's going well here. Currently no pressure from the north. I'd like to be friends with the Tomb Kings, actually, if it's possible. Alright, time to take out Emric, because nobody likes Emric anyways. All right, so we'll fight the battle because it's a pretty one-sided fight, even though it looks bad for us. Another day, another trial. Did they get rid of supply lines or whatever it's called? Um, I'm not sure how it is with greenskins. We'll find out because we're going to be recruiting a second lord here pretty quick in this episode. So we'll get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that wood elf camp attacks you and it has like a really good army too. So I'd rather not fight them if I can avoid it. I'll keep trying to get non-aggression packs with them. Because they're like... They just attack you and then make peace treaties, and it's like, it's really obnoxious. So we'll send up some shielded goblins. The Swordmasters of Hoth will get wrecked by trolls, for sure. We'll start you guys here and have them go pump their way into the back. Make it hurt. Make it hurt. Yes. All hands on deck for this one. It's so weird having a troll army, you know? So we actually have freaking five trolls in this force here. So we obviously want to avoid that second tower if we can. Wind's magic situation seems good. I think we're okay. Oh, the troll should be in group two. Looks good. 
No, I did. I saw the uh, glorious donation from Richard Wirtz. Don't worry. Richard and Ace is always. All right, so let's move up. These pump wagons can go here. Just basically uh, juking out the defenders to make them put some archers there. And sometimes it's a good idea if you have mo mobile units to like deploy over here or like on other sides, because then they put units there and you can just overload on one wall. But nonetheless, the trolls will uh, make those walls pay the toll. Let's go. The the fishy tittle muncher. It's hmm. pretty glorious name. Uh, we could send some. Yeah. So they they're leaving the swordmasters in the back, which is good. So we'll go ahead and unlock this formation. The trolls going in there. We'll get some gabos climbing the walls. Gabos can actually defeat archers in combat, which is pretty fun. All right, and the archers are of our own. Can start shooting up here at these guys. These pump wagons are going to go to the gates. Uh, I don't know about Norse controls. Yeah, I haven't really looked at them. I actually did a really funny battle with Loremaster of Sotek that'll be going up on the channel soon. Uh, where we both played, he played Wintertooth and I played Grom. And we uh, we have a troll battle, which is really fun. So that'll be going up soonish. Alright, so we're climbing the walls. We're getting in deep, boys. The goblins gonna go uh, have a word with those archers. Loremaster is about to just be crumped into oblivion. Put you guys in group one. The gatehouse is just, look. There's just like vomit and like troll clubs just beating on the walls here. Oh, that's so that's so thematic. I love it. Whatever comes through those gates, brave sons of the high elves, you will hold your ground. Oh yeah, the troll toll, baby. Let's make him pay it. So we need to path through them actually, because if we just like do this, we're gonna get congested at the gate. So we need to just push through just a little bit, and then we can fight, which is fine. All right, so let's also go ahead and summon the rogue idol. Rogue Idol here, we'll Soul Blight as well. Should be good. And you guys, have you gotten through the gatehouse yet? Not quite. Okay, it's going to take some time. How are we doing on the walls? The Rogue Idol should stomp the yard pretty good. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Drop the base. Swordmaster's getting taken out pretty good. The paunch is a little bit too thick to fit past this blob. We have a bolt thrower back there. Yeah. Pumpwagon's doing a good job, though, getting in there. We got goblins up on the walls, pressuring the light archers now. Let's go ahead and make sure they're going the right direction. River trolls are going to be debuffing everything. If you take a look at the river trolls, they actually do have the overwhelming odor. So it lowers melee attack of all nearby dudes by six, which is really nice. Uh, what do the winged pump wagons do? The winged pump wagons are basically faster, and they have a better charge bonus. That's it. Stone trolls viable in multiplayer? Yes, I think so. More so than river trolls. River trolls are really squishy. But uh, if you're talking about ROR's, the Swamp Fing is actually really, really strong. All right, so let's go ahead in there and get our scraps going. We got goblins up in the walls dealing with the archer situation, and we should be able to get our wall before this battle's over. We have Noble here. Yeah, we took like zero damage. So we're gonna pull the pump wagons and have them go after the swordmasters here. And on the other side, that gate's about to go down. Go pump wagons. Go. Go 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 go. Get on the swordmasters. So these gates are open, so now we can send these pumps to take out that bolt thrower. And these pump wagons with the weapons, like, look how fast they wreck Swordmasters. That's just like a couple models. Like, they're just getting taken apart. It's brutal. And then we can get Troll City. Have them uh, just start clubbing on this noble right here, if we can. Spirit Leech. We could even Soul Blight here. Yeah, the Swordmaster's just getting shrecked. Go, goblins. Go. Go, my brethren. Come on, pump wagons. Go! Go! Turn the corner! Oh. Okay, good. We got around him, which is great. Swordmaster is wrecked by the uh, pump wagons here. Our wash should be active in just a second. And the trolls? Yeah, we don't need to keep them here. It's kind of pointless. We don't need that many dudes to take out this noble. We can leave, like, one stone troll back here. So just pound on him. And the pump wagons have gotten back here. Should be able to take out the bolt thrower soon. Yes, the artillery is about to be taken out. Don't don't you guys worry. I guess spearmen are normally a counter against such things. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pop the bangers and sausage buff. The noble is taken out by the trolls. And the artillery is also cleared now. Great. Nice brace by the spearmen there. That was pretty clutch. But it shouldn't matter. We have a lot of anti infantry pumps there. A little pump. <laughs> I named some rapper or something. Spear leech! It looks like Mario Kart, I know. 
I love this campaign. It's so fun. Like, I love being able to use troll units. Trolls are just so haggard, and so are pump wagons in a way, but uh, it's it's fun being able to use them in a campaign, you know? All right, so army losses, that's that. Imric's uh, settlement is ours, so Imric is going to be our first foe to really smash here in this campaign. I should have actually used the Wah to heal my army, but, I mean, you can see, pretty minimal damage. Who is the true Chariot Master? Sirtha, Ek, Grom, etc.? You know, I actually thought of something funny. I was like, why don't we make a modded custom map that's a, a racetrack arena? And like, you can add custom abilities like Mario Kart abilities, and we could actually recreate Mario Kart in Total War Warhammer. You could have like Sirtha, Ek, you could have Grom the Paunch. Oh yeah, I'm taking that dough. Yes, that's the, that's the way to do it. We'll occupy this. Upgrade here, and it does have a unique building there, I think. So we're gonna... No, it's a tier two. Okay, let's get growth. Anything we want to do here? Mount Arachnos? Yes, so Mount Arachnos, now we can get the Squig Nest, which lets us uh, just get super juicy squigs. Squigs up in here. Everything's just going so good. I don't know where Imric is. I would imagine he's gonna come for the Paunch now. But the Paunch fears no evil. Arise now, Riders of Paunch. Yeah, we should probably get to... To, to big lads. Big lads gives weapon strength to trolls, and at the end it gives, yeah. So we'll get to big lads for now. That's the one that buffs up all our trolls also. So we're going trolls and goblins. I know it might be more optimal to do other stuff, but that's going to be how we play this campaign. Uh, we'll get aspect of the Dread Knight. Yeah, night goblins are, we're going to get night goblins. That's going to be one of our core troops as this campaign goes on. So no complaining gives obedience in all regions, which is really good. And it also unlocks the uh, unique Lord here who I really want to get, the Rachnik Spider Claw. So we're going to do that. Uh, we can upgrade one more pump wagon. And uh, cool. Uh, do you need to research for Squig Riders? No, I can just get Squig Riders now. Like once I get this building, I can get them in my army. Yeah. But probably what I'll do is have a second army since, you know, we're the... Paunch has uh, upkeep production for pump wagons, so they only cost 50 gold, which is pretty insane. So basically you can have like a doom stack of sorts of pump wagons, which is hilarious. Uh, hmm. Plane of Tuskers is actually owned by a greenskin tribe. Yeah, it looks like. I'm pretty sure that's greenskins. Let's see if we can get a peace treaty with these guys or a non-aggression pact. Offer payment. See if they'll take this. A thousand. No. Still don't want it, damn. Because they might attack us at any time, Karig Zorn, which would be really annoying. So we can move out, start pressing in. I could go into Ambush Dance. Hmm. Antok is certainly not a bad one to take next. We want to secure this whole center region. Not all of them are good for us, but you know, most of them more or less at least are decent. So we'll go into ambush here. Actually, let's get a little bit closer so we can actually reach that settlement next turn. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Imric, buddy. So I want to get... You know, if he actually comes to take the city, that's okay, because then we can crump him next turn. So we'll just go into ambush here. He'll probably foil our ambush, but that's okay. All right. I think everything's built. Next turn. Uh, We're going to get a ton of idols. Like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh he did, they didn't see us there. Oh, buddy, you're in trouble. Oh, 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 oh. And you're in March Dance. Imric, you're in so much trouble, dude. Uh, So AP, we I do not have access to that, no. I actually didn't even know it existed until it appeared on stream. Uh, So let's upgrade this. Oh, Imric, dude. What is this other army? Okay, this is a better army, but Imric needs to pay. Oh, yeah, dude. Imric's about to get paunched. <laughs> Look at this, this is so unfair. Do you guys want us to... It's probably an auto-resolvable situation, to be honest, guys. Yeah. Take a little bit of... Some goblins took some damage, but... Imric doesn't even deserve to be seen. Take the money. What's great about this, too, is now we can scurry back to the garrison and just heal. So, quest successful, okay. Embed a giant river troll hag, which we've done. Move any character to Xandri. Okay, so we have to get like a goblin big boss and send him to Xandri. So let's recruit a hero. We forgot to do this. Goblin big bosses. 
the yeah some of the it's weird some of the desert's unsuitable but some of it's not yeah so goblin big boss we have a serial dancer dancing queen young and sweet we have torture which gives base weapon damage obedience to local enemy province weapon master and serial dancer i mean okay i think we got to go for the serial dancer I, I don't care if it's the best choice sometimes in life you know these tough decisions call to you the big lads we're gonna buff up our trolls and yeah our trolls are suddenly getting pretty pretty crunk the hag as well we just want to get purple sun with her Emmerich's legendary lore trait? Let's go ahead and find out. So, Degradun, uh, Dragon Slayer. So, we get. Oh, look at that. Grom gets bonus for his large and fire resist. It's pretty cool. Alright, so Little Goblin's gonna go out there. Lost Plateau can be upgraded as well. Just Everything's just going so smooth here. I feel like something bad's gonna happen soon. Anyways, um, all good. Let's check our quests. Obtained one call to Wa trophy. Hmm. Unfortunately, we already took the capital. That would have been the best place to call Wa because we could have uh, easily gotten it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Ooh, we have some new recipes. All right, so we have lion meat. What happens if we mix lion meat? No, okay, we can't do that. So lion meat plus dragon tail. We get the misty mountain broth. This enables sundering attacks for Grom. Base weapon damage for Grom plus 100. Speed for cavalry, squig herds. It's mostly squig, dragon breath ammunition uh, for goblin and night goblin archers. Okay, so that one's not super crazy. Let's put away the tail. Let's see what happens if we mix this. So shroom and awful sausage, which is the one we already know. Yeah, we already know that one. Okay. So let's see if we mix these two. Misty mountain broth. Okay, so we'll just do this. The misty mountain broth. Yes. I know, the fire resist for Grom counters out his uh, weakness from the... Uh... Alright, so we cooked a new recipe. We got the Goblin Big Boss coming. Gotta worry about the Bowman. And, uh... Yeah, I think we're all set. Alright, next turn. Welcome to the stream, guys. It's been a fun run so far. Grom's campaign is so much fun. I actually... So, I've actually finished Eltharian's campaign already. And it's, it's quite good, but... The paunch is just the paunch. Uh, war fervor is fine. We'll take that. Yeah, leadership doesn't hurt. I don't know where that agent is. So Carrick Zorn, it's really important to get walls because it's going to get trolled. Like hard. Hmm. So he can come down here and see if we can see any. We'll cut one pump wagon. We're a little bit overzealous in the pump wagon department. We get the little goblin in the army as well. All right, so we could move a little bit if we want to, but we're just gonna lick our wounds for a turn. All right, Mount Arachnos does, we now have the, the squig building, so we can recruit uh, Night Goblin Squig Hoppers, plus also the uh, the squig herds. But the pump wagons are much more cost effective early because they have like no upkeep for, for the paunch. So with our second army, we probably will get a squig based army. Are you going to make a YouTube series about Grom? Uh, so this is going to be our Grom series on YouTube, and then we're going to... Oh, man. She might be going north, actually, with her army to avoid the paunch. Well, let's go find out. We could go raid in camp, but I think ambushing here and hoping like their army's lurking there is fine. She might go up north and try and take like Mount Arachnos and stuff, which would be really, really annoying, but Mount Arachnos actually has a squid garrison, so maybe it could hold. Karaka Rude. Yeah, Greenskin uh, garrisons aren't really the best. Which makes sense. Oh, we have uh, another merchant over here. A Karak Zorn. Okay, so we'll go back and talk to her soon. Alright. How can we whine advice if you finish the campaign? <laughs> I know, I know. It was a, it was a fun one, though. Uh, and Imric, uh, not Imric, uh, Eltharian's gonna go up. I probably will do an Imric campaign eventually, too. I'm almost tempted to just take that, but yeah, it's fine. Can we reach the city? Looks like we can. Alright, so we have her. Has a decent little garrison. I think this will be a fun scrap. Grom doesn't want to back down from a fight here. And if we crush this, this is pretty much the last hope for these guys. 
the gold mine. Let's level that up. Man, just everything is so smooth right now. For now. United against us, I know. Everybody's favorite. Who are we currently at war with anyways? I'm just so, like, focused on grumping that I'm not... Knights of Kalidor. Okay, so it's a Vras. It's basically just factions that I don't need to worry too much about at the moment. Yeah, it's 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 really... I wish Grom, like, could settle these climates a little bit easier. How are we, how are we looking here? The concern is down here, getting the, uh, the or Orion's Bowmen. If they do come around the corner, at least we have walls. And we can also recruit a little bit. Question uh, for chat. Which of the new units do you think will be nerfed first? I don't know if any of them need, really need nerfs, to be honest. Like, I mean, yeah, let's go here. Let's let's crump. What are we what are we waiting for? They're in freaking March Dance, too. They have some chariots of their own, but the troll toll comes for them. We have Grom the Paunch. What I'm most excited to get in this campaign, actually, is the, uh, is the uh, what are those things called? The Fanatics. I really want to get Night Goblin Fanatics so I can use their really OP Vortex ability. It's so good. All right, goblins. Goblins, trolls. Trolls. Paunch is going to be leading his Rough Riders around the... Emma, <laughs> take, take them around the flank. And we have a Goblin Big Boss now, too. Yeah, that field is definitely horrible to conquer and keep, but you don't have too many options with the Paunch. The thing is, though, you don't have to go super uh, wide with Paunch. You can just, like, take a couple territories and then start to... Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to secure a couple territories, probably these first two. Then we're going to recruit a goblin army that is going to be, like, the warden of our lands, the defender. And Grom the Paunch will go up north to conquer uh, Tor of Res. All right. This is uh, really obnoxious, actually, this, this deployment situation. They might actually be able to beat us here. <laughs> now that I look at this, I'm like, oh, God, they get us in a choke. So we need to just like kind of try and bait them out. We'll save up our Winds of Magic. Let's go do some throw up here. Yeah, let's do a little bit of throw up here. So I could like waste our ammo too if I wanted to, just like this. Takes a while, yeah. I don't know, I don't like doing that though. It's kind of like, kind of boring to be honest. Because the, the Hag does regenerate too, so she's just kind of healing that up right now. How's our ammo anyways? Yeah, we actually got a fair amount off. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll see if we can bait them in with our Goblin Archers. We might be able to actually range them and shoot the Rangers. We can pull those guys back. Okay, can we can we do this? Shoot here, just get rip a couple volleys. Oh, that's right, we have the exploding ammo. Yeah, we want to make sure to keep those guys healthy. Spirit Leeches. Anything we really want to Spirit Leech. I mean, we could just Bull Rush these lines. Yeah, Grom could do this. All right, screw this. If they're going to camp there, we're going to waste their ammo. Mm, what you say that you only meant well. Well, of course you did. Mm, what you say. <laughs> oh, God. This is like so haggard. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> look at Grom. All right, this is actually kind of funny. I don't feel bad about this. Oh, my God. Grom is so fast and he regenerates and he has 100 armor. I think we're getting hit a little bit. With Grom, it's actually whatever. Like, who cares? It's pretty funny. So Grom does regenerate. Yes, give me that bounce of power. Then you have to fight us on our terms, the crumping terms. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, someone's running low on ammo. I think their chariots still have ammo. Oh, boys. Look at the bounce of power go. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what do they have? Some, like, Reavers? Yeah, they got some Reavers. Yes. Come and get some. Let's get the Hag up here, too. We're gonna just go ahead and throw up on him a little bit. Oh, yeah! Look at that. <laughs> oh, yes! Right into my right into my trap! Into my clutches! Let's see if we can pull him back a little bit. Alright, we can go regular speed now. Chariot fight. Pump wagons versus Tyranach chariot. Oh, dude. Grom's gonna wreck these fools. Oh, he's getting... What is this? I'm getting spear leeched? What is this? Multiplayer? <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Yeah, they have an Archmage back there. Of death. The Mage of death. So let's get our Goblin Archers who have their, like, explosive fire ammo. 
Start ripping some shots here. Are our goblins regenerate? Oh my god, I forgot our goblins all regenerate. I was like, how do they heal back up to full health? What hacks are here? <laughs> Look at that, they have like explosive ammo and shit. This is so cool. Alright, so let's get the Lothern Sea Guard going here. Yeah, if they want to fight here, we can pump pump wagons actually aren't terrible here. Let's go, let's go, trolls. Make them pay the troll toll. And Grom the punch. Soul blight him here. Summon the rogue idol right in the blob here. Oh no, 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 that's not where we want the rogue idol. We want it right here. Oh man, the crumpeting is the crumpeting is upon them. <laughs> oh yeah, look at just this high elf force just get crumped. You guys ready for some pump wagon cinematics? Here we go. Let's go, pumps. Look at them riding. Oh my god, they're such cool units. Oh yeah, get in there. Go back to the Lothian Seaguard for now. Set you guys up. Grom the Paunch is doing his thing. The Rogue Idol's just stomping the yard also. We already have Terror from the Rogue Idol, so we don't need to use Aspect of the Dread Knight. Aspect of the Dread Knight's pretty good for actually keeping uh, certain things fighting in combat, too. We should have Grom's Wah here in a quick second. The battle may be over before then, but we'll uh, not make the same mistake as before. All right. That went well. Just a big, ugly, green skin blob. Come on, give us the wall. Give it to us. Give it to us. That'll heal up everything. Man, regenerating goblin armies is pretty hilarious. Because the meta before for greenskin campaigns was very much just spamming like a million black orcs, but I like that you can actually like play goblin armies outside of Skarsnik. Because Skarsnik was always kind of a goblin dude. This is a city battle, so we don't need to like worry too much about, you know, finishing it off here. Yeah, we can just crump them. Man, that was a crumping, guys. Like, we took like zero damage. Like a couple goblins. The rogue idol is a summon, yes. So in Grom's campaign, you basically start off with an item. Once you get 50 scrap, where you can give it to your casters and they can summon a rogue idol. Gabo's OP. Oh, you could, you could Arnvon, yeah, you can do that. But, I mean, honestly, just clicking back and forth is pretty cost efficient. Man, I forgot the goblins regenerated. Let's sack and just take all the goodies on the way. We'll capture it next turn, and now we'll just go raid and camp. So, Kasabar, we do have the City of Brass, which actually gives us a recruitment duration and recruitment cost for local armies. That's pretty sweet. And uh, Karaka Rood. We're, we're going to want to get walls at like all these, like the haggard greenskin walls. So we have the Obedience, uh, pull in Teeth, we don't really care for any of that. Abuse him, gives melee attack for Goblin units, but yeah, we're going to work towards the uh, unique Spider Lord here. I really want to try and get him in this episode. Plenish Troops is always super important. Goblin Big Boss can be scavenging. And that looks good to me. I don't think we can reach the city. Yeah, no we can't. Alright, looks good. Yeah, we could wah the Wood Elves, but... Um, I don't know. That's something to consider. We could. But Orion's camp... Yeah, I guess if we don't get rid of them, they're just going to keep... What is this guy? Military Axis? The thing is, uh, with Gnarly Tree Hugga... <laughs> Look at Gnarly Tree Hugga. What a name. Um, I can just take him out and then confederate all his stuff. So, there's no point. Alright. So, Tunnel Boss. Dodgy Geezer gives Missile Resist. We'll get the big lads. Because that helped uh, bust Rogue Idols, too. All right, give us an auto resolve, please. Thank you. Very good. We'll occupy it now. And what do we want here? Growth, shiny piles of money. Money is fine. Unique spider lore, but no unique spider building. There is a unique spider building in Arachnos. There is. Let me show you. Uh, so if you go to Mount Arachnos, we have this, the Lair of the Broodmother. And then when you get it fully up, it's really good. It buffs like all the spider units and hatchlings and stuff. But at tier one, it's like it just gives you 50 gold and hatchling spawn, uh, summons. So there is a unique building there. Um, normally, I like I hate to like God. There's so many like trolley things that can come in and just hammer us. Anyways, let's just get the uh, gold pit for now. Raiding camp gives you income from raiding all regions, ambush chance, local armies. All characters get income from sacking. Huh. You could do that. We need to get the Fanatic building at our main settlement. We can get Raiden Stashes, that's fine. 
it does have a global benefit. All right, purple sun time, yes. Time to get real nasty. Stalker's pretty good, campaign line of sight. Certainly a pretty uh, useful attribute here. The thing is, is it's like, it's not even an inhabitable place and the garrison is really strong here. And it's based on faction strength when you do that. <sighs> yeah. So we have our Wa here. Oh, what do we target though? Orient's camp, faction strength rank is 19. You can see, yeah, we want to, I guess 19 is one of the better ones around. You know what? I think Orion's camp might be the best. Emmerich got crumped really hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a second army. Hmm. I think we'll save the Wa and we'll, we'll use it on Orion's camp. But I want to get a second army so they can start getting Wa units too. Yeah. All right. So one second, guys, just minimizing to check something. Thank you guys all so much for your support today. You guys have been super generous. Yeah, we've we've been crumping gets pretty freaking hard. We need we need to finish off uh, Eltharian, other or not Eltharian, uh, uh, Imric, or else he's going to keep coming back. So we'll pass turn for now. We also have a cooking merchant we need to get back to here. We have anti large on all of our goblins. Temple of Skulls is rank four. Yeah, you can just raise it for sure. You can raise it. But I want to get two wall armies. Yeah, gnarly tree hug at once. I'm like, dude, get out of here with that. So if I, yeah, basically if we test the wall, you can see, yeah, they are strength rank two, which will give us the biggest trophy. The, the issue is, though, is then that puts me at war with Croc R. Let's see how, I guess they already hate us anyways. We could underway here, but Croc, I'm telling you, Croc R is going to go ham on us. Ideally, if like, how are they, how do these lizards feel towards us? Antok here can be leveled up, which is fine. Karak Zorn. Yeah, we need to go take this. Well, first, let's just crump these regions. Okay, Emric's up here. We'll just do Raiden camp here. So we're going to raid there, and then we'll take him next turn. Upgrade this for now. And pass turn. Yeah, I think, you know, Temple of Skulls is actually a good idea. Like, I, I really like that idea, guys. Great, great, great thinking there. Big thinking. Oh, Camry. You know, oh, yeah, you know, we can actually buddy up with Camry, so we don't have to worry about threats from the north. If we could get a military alliance with Camry and the Tomb Kings, we can, uh, we can then just, like, wreck everything in the south. Alright, so let's go here. Should be an easy auto-resolve. Yeah, resolve that for sure. Emric, poor Emric just getting dunked on this this episode. He just gets no chance to shine. Uh, Zack. Zack it. Oh, we get the Moonhallers now. And we'll occupy that. And for you, do we need growth buildings? We'll just get more shiny piles of money. So we've almost... I don't know how many regions the Knights of Kalidor have right now. camry has got to kind of like us. Yeah, yeah. And then let's also see if we can get some money out of them. Demand payment. Okay. They don't like us that much. Can we get 300? Okay. So, three non-aggression packs and military access. Yeah, let's do it. Cetra and Grom, just the, the biggest team. Very good. You do have to destroy the capital of a region. So if I declare... I'm pretty sure if I do this, it'll send me to the Temple of Skulls, which is... Not that bad. It's a pretty easy garrison, actually. That's a really easy wall. So at level 12, we unlock Grom's unique tree, which is his great immensity. So if you look, it gives leadership for all goblin units, growth, all provinces. It's so good. Um, hit points. This one pump, buffs up pump wagons. And this one gives you uh, basically looting abilities. So income from post-battle loot sacking. And uh, this one just gives you uh, even more chariot action. So more Mad Max. Coming back here, enemy for elven units. Eh, that's all right. Just in the local region. It's not that strong. So we'll go ahead and get to Gabos for now. So we have goblins and trolls pretty much maxed out. And you, give him a giant wolf, I suppose, although we could just wait for him to get level eight. Having a little wolfo here is nice, though. 
I'll just make him combat caster or combat character until we get um, what we're looking for. So we do have the troll upgrade, which gives us more hags. Um, I think we just save the money though. Karak Zorn getting additional walls, I think, is a good idea against the stupid or Orion's camp. Any changes to AI? I'm not sure, actually. I could recruit another Lord. Yeah, it does increase. Yeah, so supply lines are still here. I definitely will probably get a Greenskin or, or a Shaman. But first, before we pop the Wa, what do we have? Plane of Tuskers? Yeah, I'm going to have to settle that. Hmm. Yeah, the 15% penalty definitely sucks, but I mean, we're doing pretty good financially, so it's not a huge deal. We'll, uh, because I want to have two armies when I activate the wall so they can both get, like, big doom stacks. That's kind of the game plan. So for now, let's check the Knights of Kalidor. Are they destroyed? They might just be destroyed. Oh, Knights of Kalidor are gone. Very good. So now we just need to go get the Plane of Tuskers, which is actually a good settlement for us, and then we're, we're all set. So we'll temporarily recruit a Lord here. Cunning. Night Goblin Warboss. Doesn't really matter. He's just going to go settling here. Yeah, we'll get Grievitz. Grievitz is going to go colonize this. All right, pass turn. Uh, I need to save money for the goblin. Yeah, so if I want to get the big war boss, he's going to cost uh, he's going to cost five thousand. The unique goblin lord. Yep. See, this is what I'm talking about. They always do that. And now they're like already at my territories. Uh, the army doesn't seem too strong though, so we just need to crump them. Give him a good proper crump in just once. You can head on over here. Hopefully there's no Skaven. We can even march you. So Grom is going to get his thickness and move down here. Uh, magical Reserves is super good. Yeah, I do have a quest to search runes, yeah. I'm aware. Okay, even if this army... We'll just march. They're probably going to get Kasabar, which is unfortunate. Has a pretty bad garrison, but that's it's the nature of the beast. There's got to be some, you know, challenges here. And Karaka Rude. Um, probably you want to get walls there, yeah. Because we can be attacked from the north for sure. And then we'll do our Wa on the Temple of Skulls, yeah, on uh, Krakar. Keep them from getting too strong. All right, I think that's good for the turn. Um, is there any diplomacy, really? The Leaf Cut is tried, but... Join Confederation. Oh, okay, we could actually just Confederate them now. Yeah, but they're in a really awkward spot. I don't think I want to take that territory, to be honest, and have to defend it. All right, next turn. Yes, we have to deal with the Wood Elf Trolls. Karak Zorn should be safe. Kasavar they might take. If they do, though, we'll just crump their army and then put them in the can. Yeah, okay. Okay, they want to play like this. That's fine. That's fine. They're just going to raise. <clears throat> the Paunch has something to say. So firstly, let's go ahead and colonize this. If we can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> let's cancel that. Looks like there is some Skaven here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disband you for now. We're going to recruit another war boss here. So this is actually going to be a second lord we will be keeping. Goblin Great Shaman, tough, cunning, poison, ambush chance. I guess that's not bad. Strategist, campaign movement range, yeah. So we'll take the cunning one. He's going to go into his pen and start recruiting squig hoppers. He can get pretty scary, and the upkeep on them is 181, so it's pretty good. It's pretty pricey, actually, yeah. Very good. So he's going to have squigs and goblins for his force. Oh, please let me reach this guy. Damn it, I can't quite reach him. I wonder if he'll attack me with his two armies thinking he can win. Oh my god, look how annoying that army is. Jesus. 50%. The ambush chance here isn't great. <clears throat> Tree hug, I might have an army, yeah. But I want to recruit squigs and like good units. So we're just going to do that here. And then uh, once we can now declare the Wa, I really want to do it on Orient's camp, though. So let me, let me check this. So strength rank 10 and 2. I mean, 10 will give you... Okay, so actually if we do Orion's camp, it will give us the biggest trophy. All right, it's time to crump some pointy ears, because 1 through 10 gives you uh, the biggest trophy. Okay. 
Oh man, the crumpening. Let's go ahead and select these guys if we can. Can we select Orient's camp? Oh no, can we not select them? Select target. Okay, so we got that. So the Bowman of Orion, we have their capital here. We're going to declare it to uh, Gork. Young Wolf, one, two, two, three. Thanks for the great content. Keep it going. I have no much, no idea how much money that is, but thank you so much, man. That looks like a super generous amount. All right, guys, it's time to crump. In the name of the Young Wolf and his glorious donation, we shall do it for you. So now we have our wall coming. Yes. And also we have a wall army here as well. You can see. Oh, yeah, that one has trolls. The Bowmen of Orion are strength rank 10, which means we get the maximum... Uh, trophy, all uh, research rate, ammunition, missile strength. Unfortunately, it's not the best traits, but we do have some missiles, so. All right, Ponch. Let's go here and see if we can lay an ambush. It's time. The crumpeting begins. Let's get uh, healing mushrooms. We need that. Just give us casualty replan on all our dudes. And uh, we don't need to repair any of that. It's fine. Grom's paunch itches. That's right. It itches. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Young Wolf. That's very generous of you, bud. We shall conquer in your name. We gotta squash the bowman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, let's fall back. See if we can get them isolated. I mean, we can win this, I'm pretty sure, but you never know. Yeah, because now you see they're out of range. So the tactical retreat of the paunch. Can we get there with our reinforcements? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, you're in trouble. You're in trouble now. The greenskins have outsmarted you. <laughs> and the wall grows in power. All right, so for you, let's go ahead and get uh, precise. Big Finkin, boys. Big Finkin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Gork and Mork want some dead. Gork and Mork want them dead, and after this, your your city will be crumped by a thousand greenskins. How did you uh, start playing before release? So, yeah, basically people who do, like, YouTube and whatnot um, sometimes can get the early, early business, which is fun. Oh, yes. Time to, time to crump. Oh, no. That is so bad for you guys. Look where they start. Oh. oh, no, this is so bad for you. All right, let's get this. The paunch is going to take a huge haggard. Actually, we should probably have like at least two separate groups here so we can come from two angles. Where are my reinforcements coming from? Oh, God. Okay, well, at least I have some quick hoppers that can run. You guys ready for this crumpeting? Yes, Paunch is a cunning tactician. Grimgore would have fought that first battle. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go. It's time. The Paunch, his, his, his thickness, it thirsts. Those archers are not going to get much value here. We do have purple sun, but we got to make sure uh, these guys don't get kind of... I'm going to just move them up here. It's fine. All right, so how's this uh, corner battle going? It looks like it's going pretty good. We've gotten into their archer lines, more or less. Got, can't let them stabilize, though. we got to make sure pumps are chasing them on all angles here. Pull back the stone trolls, get the goblins getting in there. Oh, yes, we have pump wagons all up in their archer lines, but we need to make sure we're doing a little bit of a better job with that. All right, so now we have <clears throat> our other force over here, <clears throat> which can hang out. We have the wall armies coming in too, so some of the uh, the clever greenskins, or not greenskins, but elves were able to get away here, but many of them will be crumped against the edge of the map. Got to pull back these trolls. All right, how are we looking over here? So we have squig hoppers, but only a couple of them have come in. We can try and lure in a couple units here at once. 
stupid elves. That's what you get for messing with the, the immensity of the punch. Let's get the river trolls in there, scrapping. Let's get all you guys scrapping as well. And it looks like, yeah, those guys have been chased down. So now we just kind of hunt these archers. We do have enough for a purple sun, too. There's not really any point to doing it, though. We'll save the rogue idol for the main fighting. These guys just want to chill out. That's fine. More than happy to wait. Pump wagons, let's go. We need to get all the pump wagons going. Because the troops here should be able to easily deal with the, uh, yeah, those units. The trolls can just dogpile in and take them out. We gotta check our recipes too. After this battle, we should get some elvish recipes. I'll just take out those wild riders real quick. <laughs> it feels so good. Wood elves are like the most annoying campaign faction to like fight, in my opinion. So we're gonna do this just for the healing, uh, just because so we can start rebuilding it, getting ready for a second one. Grom the Ponch can go here. River Trolls can go here. You guys go here. Okay, so that looks like a pretty complete crump to me. We didn't take too much damage also because we caught them in a really, really solid position. Now we have this small force surrounded. They're sending in their wild riders to get crumped. Sneaky stab into those squig hoppers. And we have like all our wall reinforcements too, which can't even fit. We have so many units, like all the ones you see here with the little uh, icons are actually our wah, wah units. So those guys, uh, yeah, aren't even gonna get. All right, make sure to chase those guys down if you can. You guys go here, you guys go here. Just keep the crumping going. Get the archer shooting the appropriate targets, and yes, those wild riders have been crumped. So let's pull back. Looks good to me. Man, we're gonna have just like doom stacks waiting for this elvish army. It's gonna be great. Let's do this. Come on, trolls. It's time to make your way over. Alright, everything's getting chased down over there to make sure they can't get their bearings back. Start moving up now. We can get the squeak hoppers uh, to go here. River trolls will actually debuff with the overwhelming odor. So the melee attack of those wild riders will be heavily nerfed. And you guys can shoot at the uh, dudes there. Alright, so... The immensity of the paunch, reigning victorious. Just start moving up. Yeah, there are units lurking everywhere. Yeah, now, these are our wall reinforcements. Yeah. So they've just come in, it looks like, or they came in a moment ago. Like, we don't even need them, really. <laughs> Alright. Let's go here. Oh, yeah. Crump them down, boys. Quick hoppers can just go after the deep wood scouts. You guys can go here and just pile in. Just all the units just do the biggest haggard rush ever. Let's go, trolls! This is the Danny DeVito build, the troll toll build. Drop a purple sun there and also the rogue idol in just a moment. That purple sun's probably gonna hit my own guys. Lovely. Oh, that was actually pretty good. The rogue idol going as well. Let's go! <laughs> the troll toll is being paid by this, by this uh, this AI army for sure. Sneaky stabbing. Oh, there's some some dudes coming in there. Just this giant rogue idol just beating them in the desert. Oh my god, I love this army composition. It's so much more fun than spamming black orcs. All right, shoot them, shoot them. Can we pull some trolls? Any reinforcements coming that can reach them? Yeah, you guys go get those more answers if we can. Looks good to me. All right. So that's pretty much a crumpening. They're both in March Dance too, so that's pretty much a GG for those armies. Oh yeah, look at the rogue idol. Reuben, Bunscoke, some toll for the trolls. Thank you so much for the donation, man. And the toll has been paid. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> he just punches some goblin in the face. Oh my god. <clears throat> You know, I don't, I don't like the traditional vortex campaigns where you have to like go and like play the vortex mission. But I really like short vortex missions like uh, Vampire Coast, like this faction. To me, it's it's much more engaging experience. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Pump wagons are so good. I mean, these are the baseline pump wagons. They're not even the good, like really strong ones. I'll take the healing. It's fine. All right. So the bowmen are gonna regret the day they cross the paunch. Shouldn't that army have been killed since it was in March Dance? 
I think I can still reach it. Yeah, looks like I can. Auto resolve is fine. <laughs> Just got pancaked. All right, give me the dough. Take money, it's fine. And the paunch is now level twelve, so we have his great immensity. We can do this, and uh, culinary curmudgeon is so good. This one gives you like growth in all regions. It's just like such a powerhouse ability. For the wench, uh, could upgrade our purple sun again. And for you, you get scavenge level two to get some more magical items. Although no, ambusher is really good. Wait, no. Oh, I thought that had something. No, never mind. Okay, we'll take this. So the rogue idol is summoned with an item that you start with with uh, Grom the Punch. The Goblin King. The Goblin King. So now we can happily upgrade these regions. Casabar can be upgraded, but first let's check Karak Zorn. Like the pump wagon tech, do we really need it? I don't know if we need to upgrade the pump wagons at the moment, so let's just get the janky old garrison there. Casabar can be upgraded as well. The Plain of Tuskers is settled by the rats, which don't like us. How did they get all the way down there? Goodness gracious. Lich109, <clears throat> he says, Thank you firstly for the donation. He says, Fun fact, all goblins except Grom are afraid of elves. The rule that makes him brave against elves is called eats elves for breakfast. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what's the trophy from the Wood Elves? The trophy from the Wood Elves is research rate, faction-wide, ammunition, and missile strength. So unfortunately, it's not the best one for us, since we're going mostly melee. But it's still not terrible. Um... The research rate isn't bad. So the Ponch is going to make his way over there. March chance a little bit risky. We'll pass the turn. So the Bow Bowmen of Orion are about to just be like patty caked by two giant Waz. We can't let them come back because they just like troll you nonstop. Yeah, Grom cannot be on... Mr. Pig is correct. Grom cannot be on any other... Like he has to be on his chariot. You don't have a foot option with Grom. And he actually can walk because I did see it in the trailer. Uh, It's fine. So we need to like get aggressive now. That was pretty good. This one's pretty good. So we'll. Why is our underway so small? I guess because of the desert situation, huh? Be hard march. How far can we get? A little goblin. Obviously, can get a little bit further. We'll hard march the punch. So we can get there next turn. Yeah, they have they have something here, but it's not going to be enough. I think we actually have to pay upkeep for the uh, for the Waz. I'm not sure. If if you do, then that's really rough. Actually, I don't know if we'll be able to sustain. All right, everything's going good. We have five ten. Let's go ahead and pass the turn, and uh, the Bowman's camp shall be ours next turn. Are you going to see if you? Yeah, that's right, Doom Slayer. I got to check for food. Let's let's check that and see what we can cook. I'm curious about what recipes I've gotten. Yeah, I, I don't... If we have to pay upkeep on the Waz, I don't know if it's worth getting the double. Oh, look at look at these guys coming, crawling back for a peace treaty. You were about to get crumped into the Shadow Realm, my dude. All right, extra teeth. Leadership all armies. Uh, I mean, how long is it for? Yeah, it's fine. All right, so let's cook before we fight. Okay, so no new ingredients quite yet. So this one, sack a Dark Elf Settlement, uh, win a battle against an army containing flying creatures of Lestria, obtain a trophy from a successful call to Wah. Okay, against any elf faction. So we're, we're about to get the Phoenix Claws from this fight. Recruit Goblin Fanatics, get a Goblin Great Shaman. Okay, River Troll Hag, Orc Shaman. Let's cook something though, for sure. I like the this one, it gives you growth. It's really strong, so we're gonna cook that. <laughs> he said the breakfast of champions. Oh, I love it. So Grom can't quite reach it, but that's fine. We can let the little goblin get the experience. Here we go. Uh, this is probably one we can auto-resolve. Yeah, we'll just auto-resolve this. Oh my god, 20,000 gold! Oh! <laughs> Give us that, and then next turn we can just sack it. Oh, 20,000 gold is so good and tasty. Karak Zorn can be leveled up. Nothing here in our secondary region. Well, there goes our financial woes. We'll do this to get the uh, the better trolls. 
Screw it. We'll just upgrade everything for now. On tabletop, Grom actually had a rule where his chariot could be destroyed and he had to foot sog it. Oh my god, that's so funny. Just hidden supply lines. Got it. Okay. Good to know. So, Route Marcher here. He actually has a really good thing for squigs. He has nastier squigs, so we can get that too. He's going to have like a squig army. Grom the Paunch will be like trolls and goblins. Alright, uh, we'll get Purple Sun fully maxed out. Goblin dude. Yeah, we'll just keep getting him a little bit stronger. And Orion's camp right now, we're just going to go into Raiden's, Raiden's Dance. So let's go here. This actually gives us scrap too. Yeah, and you can see it buffs up our uh, economy pretty good. Some ROR's we could recruit too. Yeah, this is a global recruitment here. Could get some more goblins for him. I don't know if it's necessary. Screw it. We'll get some more goblins. It's fine. All right. And do we want to get the pump wagon tech? I don't know if we need that quite yet. We're about to get the uh, casualty replen there, and we can uh, pass turn. I just made a shrimp sausage and completed the quest. Ah, cool. The reason Grom has to be on chariot is that on foot he has five speed. I just completed the hag quest. Okay, I'll check that out. So what that means is we have an extra cooking slot now. But let's check it out together. So the hag quest is done. Okay, I have another one. Dragon ingredient here for extra flavor. Okay. So let's, let's try this out. So we got the lion's meat plus we got the spores. And then drag this for extra flavor. Oh, and it adds that extra effect. Okay, we get some extra flavor in the pot. This is the one that gives us explosive missile damage. Um, can we do this? I'm trying to think. Yeah, screw it. I mean, whatever. We have some archers. Let's do it. So that'll replace our current one with the extra flavor. It's pretty sweet. So we currently have two of the 15 recipes. Obviously, we could, we'll could. we get more pretty soon here. So goblin will go. Auto resolve this again. We could just like crump them over and over. And we will uh, raise it because that will complete our walk. Ha boom! Hadouken! Enemy killed. Wa successful! Your Wa successfully raised its target. The additional Wa units shall stay in your armies for the remaining duration of the call to Wa, after which you will be awarded your trophy. In the meantime, you may continue to use them for your destructive ends. So I get the trophy once it's all done. Okay. So our economy. Uh, a little bit taxed. Yeah, the wall armies are getting quite frightening now. The Hag has leveled up. Uh, we have Purple Sun where we want it. Arcane Conduit all day. The Goblin boss. And we can get him a Giant Spider now, finally. And the little dude, I want to get him uh, the big shrine at level 16. So he's that's going to be our main focal point, getting him up. Don't even try it. Oh, that's Arcane and Forging ability. Let's give that a whirl. He's going to go down the Magic Tree himself. Yeah, the food merchant's here. We're going to go back and get it with our little goblin. Ponch, Ponch could head over there. We can send the goblin to do that. Ponch, I think, is going to keep conquesting. Now, what do we want to crump, though? Like, the world is our oyster as it pertains to crumping. I think crumping some Skaven to get our uh, territory back would be good. So Ponch is going to go hard march. And he's going to go crump some of these rats if he can. So let's get back to our territory. These guys are going to go raiding camp. Oh, that's actually hurting us now. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Upgrade you, and is there anything else we have here? No, we actually have diamonds. Diamonds are forever. Confederate and destroy the Lizardmen? Yeah. Uh, we want to get Plane of Tuskers. Lizardmen down to the south. I think going south is better because it uh, allows us to uh, get territories that we can actually, like, you know, enjoy. So Sentry Glades, yeah, and then this. Yeah, maybe we do go south. I mean, the Skaven here I would like to take out too. Thing is, I, I want to leave one army here because I'm pretty sure the AI for, uh, what's his name? Yeah, so if you guys look at Galbaraz right now, if you've played Eltharian's campaign, Galbaraz is one of the actual missions that Eltharian has. So this is Eltharian sieging here, which means he has missions and his AI is programmed to go after them. His first mission is Galbaraz and his second mission is Karaka Rood. Uh, which is my territory. So he's going to be down here causing problems. Yeah. All right. So Paunch. We can come take these guys out and get this little like forested region here. This guy's going to go back up and kind of. Although. Mm, 
We'll see. We'll play. We'll play it by ear. He he's gonna go check the food merchant. I kind of have to hoard money right now too, cause you know there's a bit of a downturn after the wall. But we need to keep grumping. Oh uh, no, we're on vortex right now. We'll be streaming this again tomorrow too. Alright, so we have a hag here. Let's go talk to her. Recruit a lord, we did that. Grievitz is back, we got casualty replan. Alright, so Phoenix Claws. We have to pay for those. Cooking challenge opens up another slot. Let's do the mission. Me want something with flying gubbins. A dish won't need three things in it. So we have some new stuff actually, I think. Shouldn't we have gotten the Oh, we have to wait till the trophy comes through. Okay, so we we have the Hag's quest. The tribe's ready. He's just gonna kinda head back here and chill out. Yeah, and we can see here Altharian. Oh, never mind, that was Tomb Kings. Wow. I expected Altharian to be doing that. The immensity. The immensity. Post wall depression. The post wall depression happens once it expires, so currently I'm okay. Got some walls there. The walls are just kinda silly otherwise. I mean, maybe just get the public order infrastructure. Oh, uh, what else do we want? Growth is fine. It takes so long to upgrade those regions, which sucks. But we need to stay aggressive. If we just if we just hang back, it's not going to be great. So we'll we'll hold off on the Skaven for now. Oh, hold on. Looks like the Skaven might have gotten taken out there. So underway. Underway range is so so freaking small. We'll go crump some lizards. We're going to crumb some lizard people. All right. And now we have this one unlocks scrap upgrades for... Yeah, this is the troll in one is the one that gives you trolls. That like buffs up all your troll units, which we want. This one will give us uh, ammunition and missile strength for night goblins and whatnot. Not super useful on paper, but... Yeah, and we can we can about get this. Ability of Ragnarok eggs. I'd really like to get Ragnik, but we don't have the dough for it, so... This is all like work stuff, so we don't really care too much, but this is actually good, yeah. Melee attack for goblin units, we might as well get that. All right. And it also buffs up our squigs and the other army. Paunch is indeed a majestic land whale, yes. But people people laughed at the Paunch before and has not done him well. All right, so we're heading south. We're gonna get these lizards. I don't think we can quite reach it. So we're going to move down here and go into Raiden camp. I don't know like what their armies look like, and I don't have too many missiles either, so I'm a little bit nervous about big dinos. But we still have our uh, our giant erect wall, so I'm feeling confident in these fights. Everything looks fine here. Why is the Raiden camp hurting us? Income from all buildings when raiding own region. I'm not, though. But you see, I lose money when I go into that stance. I guess we'll just go into ambush. Hey, take care, Mr. Pig. Farewell, brother. Fare thee well, my friend. Stay safe. Grimgore is indeed a very badass greenskin lord. His wa is uh, chilling out. His is just kind of floundering here, which is okay. We got the squig tech. Use them. We'll buff up goblins armor as well, so we'll do that. Should have done those ones early, probably. We definitely need some dough. We definitely need some dough. This guy could actually hard march over here and settle the plane. Pretty sure the Skaven left it, or else I would still see. Clan Eshin only has six settlements. They're pretty uh, pretty weak. I'm currently strength rank six. What does the unstoppable trait mean for spiky rollers? So basically, um, if we go and look, so let's find the spiky rollers. Unstoppable. This unit has improved effectiveness at knocking back enemy units upon collision. That's what that does for you, brother. Hopefully that answers your question. Where do we want to go with the little goblin here? Do you have any more hero recruitment slots now that we have this higher? No, we don't at the moment. We will have one in our other region. If we underway, we can troll over there also. It looks like somebody might have raised that Skaven settlement, so we'll go see if we can settle it now. All right, uh, so we're all set here. Let's go ahead and pass turn. 
we'll smash the lizards next turn. Our economy's stretched pretty thin, but uh, I think it should calm down once the Waz are all over and whatnot. We're just going to have like a full goblin sack with that other character. But he'll come to the Plane of Tuskers and maybe we'll take that from the rats. Alright, it's fine. Grom the Poncho's ambush has been foiled. Declare war. Let's take out the lizards here. Auto resolve. That's what's so nice about the big armies. You can just auto resolve all this. Oh yes, give me that 9,000. Then we'll occupy it. Dirk, its squigs are now available too. Very good. Take that, get a growth building. And Paunch, uh, what do we want to get for the Paunch? Magic drop, yeah, that's pretty good. Boisterous shakedown. Little goblin here. Give him Vanguard deployment, it's pretty funny actually. Let's check our itemization. We don't really have like any items at all. Paunch is like the only one rocking any gear. Yeah, Paunch got the potion of toughness. He's a greedy Paunch, but deservedly so. So let's go ahead and recruit a hero here. We should be able to get a Goblin Big Boss. That doesn't give us more capacity. That's too bad. Yeah, it just gives us more obedience there. 3,000 Gs. We're about to get Karak Zorn, so I think I'm going to save most of my money to get the uh, the Rogue Idol infrastructure. And we'll be good. So let's get you, and let's get you. The Paunch is here. He's going to keep heading across the desert to see if we can get the Plane of Tuskers. Bagars or anything we want to do. Yeah, I guess just more. It's a lot of money from that thing. And the ROR's, we can basically just keep them. And yes, Rachnik Spider Claw. Okay, so adds a Goblin Great Shaman to the pool. So we'll get him, and we'll charge bonus melee attack for Spider units. Uh, when normally killed in battle, this Lord will be wounded instead. And Arachnrock Eggs. Okay, we'll get that. It's a little bit expensive, but screw it. We're going ham. I was going to save money to upgrade things, but you know, the Paunch is impatient. One sec, guys. Just got to plug in my uh, phone here. i got to charge it for a minute. Faction encountered. Oh, the followers of chaos. Let's see what these wenches are up to, shall we? Okay. And then we have Rachnik too, so I could replace... I've gotten kind of attached to this guy. But uh, I think it's time. So Rachnik Spider Claw. Yeah, that's nice. You can summon spider hatchlings, yeah. So we have the Greenskin Legendary Lord character now, the uh, special one. Uh, so he gives enemy leadership penalties, buff spider units. So we're going to get like a Ragnarok stack with this guy. It'll be pretty sweet. He's a couple levels behind, but that's no problem. So let's move him up. Nasty, magic. Nasty magics indeed, my dude. Uh, so the Sun Tree Glades. Okay. Okay. Are we at war with these guys? I don't think so. I hope not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're playing the Vortex mission, which thankfully we don't care about. So where is that other city? Yeah, we need to go down there and capture that. Unfortunately, that one isn't great. This one may be owned by Skaven, too. So we'll underway over here and check it out. Big as an orc. Big as an orc. Than we have our Hag as well. We can get Slimy Shanks to give her some HP. Actually, no. Replenish Troops Tier 3. Turn, what is your win campaign objective? So you have to cook uh you have to cook twelve dishes, twelve different dishes, and then on top of that you have to go in and win the final battle against Eltharion. Fate of is better in multiplayer than campaign. In campaign, uh Purple Sun is way better. Yeah. Turn, what is your unstoppable trait? Yeah, we, we touched upon that. Good. Alright, very good. So yeah, we're gonna just secure this region, secure our top region using Rachnik up here. He can recruit some ROWs if uh, he's in a pinch. And now we have new building slots here. So what I'm thinking is, is we'll get the uh, the Shaman set when we can afford it. And this will give us the Rogue Idol infrastructure to eventually get. Uh, also, yeah, we can start working on the Musta fields because we do want Fanatics. So we'll get Fanatics plus Rogue Idol tech there. And that's pretty much everything we need for the campaign. Okay, that's Trollin here. So we're going to work down here to get the Trollin tech. Trollin uh, gives you weapon strength for trolls and recruit rank for trolls and also allows me to scrap upgrade them, which is going to be super good. All right, next turn. I'm tempted to crump those Chaos Armies, but they're just like heading down to attack the Lizardmen. So I'm like, okay, you go for it, dude. You, you treat yourself. I have a feeling Eltharion's going to strike soon, though. He, he He's programmed to come down here and attack you, and we're like pretty far south. The Wall Armies will last 11 more turns, which is pretty ludicrous. 
Please, please be Skaven. Okay, who's here? Clan Eshin. You know what? We're going to have to attack Clan Eshin. Otherwise, they're just going to... They're just going to keep, like, occupying our provinces and we'll never progress. Thousand gold's a thousand gold. I ain't asking questions. Although, that's probably as much as it's going to cost to repair, unfortunately. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, I guess we just don't add any profit. It's the same. So, for you... Oh, we have another uh, river merchant over here. So we're going to move him up. The goblins have 105 upkeep, though. It's pretty pricey, actually. Yeah, we'll get some goblins. It's fine. Actually, he still has the war army. We don't need to get additional stuff until... Uh... So we're going to head to the to the cook. Grom. Language of Du Bois is pretty damn good, for sure. It gives uh, immune to psych and leadership buffs and melee defense. But we're going to get chariot races to buff up our pump wagons. It also gives them p perfect vigor. And now we have a lizard army who's looking at us kind of funny. I'm not liking the way he's looking. We have enough to upgrade this. We do, but yeah, screw it. We'll upgrade all this. At least it's a green territory. All right. And uh, how is our defensive infrastructure here? Lost Plateau is our weak point. We have a goblin army nearby who can hopefully... Muster to the main city if need be. Foreign trespasser. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully we can... I, I think the Skaven are actually quite weak. <laughs> Just some random Norskins like one of Peace Treaty. Why are you even at war with me, dude? Let's see if we can get some more money out of them. Demand payment. Sure. We'll take your 500 gold and not ask questions. Alright. So, turn. Are the wolf chariots changed in any way? Not really. I think they're the same. Yeah. Do scrap upgrades uh, change the appearance of units? No, they do not. Goblin tied skill point on the top of the row? Yeah. Let me check that out. Did I totally miss that? Goblin side. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I totally miss this. Wow, armor and melee attack for goblin units. Thank you for pointing that out. We don't have a ton of goblins right now, so arguably it may not be worth it, but we're still going to get it because it's cool. We are planning on getting more goblins too. So uh, he doesn't need a giant wolf. We'll give him some missile resist. Actually, scavenge tier three is good. Give us those magical items, please. Big as an orc. Big as an orc. So Rachnik is going to just go ahead and grab this treasure here. Talk to the, the hag. Uh, Phoenix Claws, Cooking Challenge. Food Merchant cooks a random recipe in your cauldron. Yeah, let's let's see what let's let the hag cook. The meal has been prepared and the feast has begun. Grom and his horde can now digest the powers of the chosen recipe. The lads clamor over their share. What did she cook? So she cooked a current cauldron dish, which gives perfect vigor for Grom, fishy breath, income from all buildings. Holy shit, that's good. Global recruitment for all units. Reputation. Obedience plus 8. Growth plus 10. Man, that hag is a good cook. That is sweet. So we've cooked three recipes. We have a new one. Stinky fungi. But I'm going to let the hag's recipe sit because that is a good one right there. Mmm, -hmm, That's good and tasty. Now he's going to head down here. Probably can move and recruit as well. So we're going to head and go secure our region. You are special. Keep it up, man. Get some uh, gobos for that army. Grom the Paunch, uh, we need to secure our region. So unfortunately, it's a little ways down there. But we can just underway. Man, that is a really, really good one, guys. Turn, what do you think the idol will be good? The idol will only probably be good in multiplayer when it uh, it's against armies that like are very like have to fight you in melee. If you're playing like factions that can kite you, I think the idol isn't going to be as good. Can you do a quick best scrap upgrade rundown? Uh, oh god, if I have to fight Tic-Tac-Toe, no, please, my eternal nemesis. Divine. The best scrap upgrade, I think, I haven't done a lot of research into it, so I don't feel like I can give you a super inform informed answer. However, I think the best one probably is uh, with your boy uh, Skarsnik. Skarsnik has one that gives his night goblins regeneration plus damage over time. So they basically become like poison wind warders, which is really strong. So after this, I think I need to chill out a little bit on the conquest. Because I'm expanding really fast, and uh, I don't know if I can defend everything, to be completely frank. With just my two stacks, because the Waz is going to wear off soon. Yeah, okay, that's good. So we know where the Toad is. We'll just squash him real quick. 
What does that army look like? Hopefully it's not like a Ride of Primeval Glory stack. Okay, so we'll, if we move regular... Oh yeah, that's really short range. Should be able to squash this toad. It's got some SARS. And you... Uh, the Plane of Tuskers. No, it's been stolen by Tic-Tac-Toe, my nemesis. I'm a little bit concerned about being attacked from the north. I'd love to have an agent or something I could go scout with. Our economy is getting better, thankfully. And I can't quite get the Orc Shaman Head. It's 5,000. That's pretty much what we're saving for. No point in upgrading that at the moment. Sun Tree Glades. Sure. I think everything's fine. This little goblin, he's... Ah. The Plane of Tuskers. Oh, man, my nemesis, Tic-Tac-Toe. How many territories does he have? Let's see what kind of a, a force to be reckoned with. Oh, he's only has three? Okay. The tribes, ready. the tribes are ready. So I love that Chaos is just raiding me here. Just on their way down. Uh, sure, let's get, a, let's get some Gaba Archers. Yeah, there we go. I can only afford one of those. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. All right, so there we go. We're gonna set, uh, once we get the trolling upgrade, we'll spend our scrap to uh, get the troll toll paid. Oh, Tic-Tac-Toe's trespassing? What is this? Tic-Tac-Toe! With your three territories, get out of here, dude. Oh, Toad bro. You are in the danger zone, my friend. Can we... Oh, we can't quite reach this thing. Can we? Let's see. Come on, give me that sausage. Yeah, we can't quite get this guy. This is like my least favorite part of campaign is like chasing down like haggard armies and forests. It's just so annoying. Uh, so next we'll get Horrid Mass. Crown of the Paunch is hunting the toad. We can recruit some ROR's here too. So we'll get the... Uh... Oh, and the Pump Wagon ROR too. The Logie Bogies. Alright, this army's formidable now. It can probably defeat Tic-Tac-Toe. We're coming for you. We're going to get some raiding going. There's some random dwarf army. Okay. Chaos is just continuing to troll me. In the main region, we're all set. We have a couple turns of the Wah until we suffer the Wah Blues. And we'll uh, we'll do battle. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a little bit concerned about Eltharian coming. There's Tic Tac right there. So at least now I have inventory of him. Like what he's up to. And if we can settle this whole, like, coastal peninsula, that'd be really good. Oh, we got them in an ambush! <laughs> Let's auto-resolve that. The toad just flops face down. Alright. That's nice. I can't believe that ambush freaking worked. I guess we were in the trees. We'll get the goblin tide. And for you... I don't know. What do we want, want you to be doing, bud? You already pretty much have it. We'll give you missile resist, too. And now, can we underway close to that city? Here, can we get walls yet? We can. Very good. Oh man, Tic Tac Toe has a 20 stack though. And this wall is like not juiced at all. Might have to go recruit some more goblins. Oh man, guys, Tic Tac Toe with a dreaded 20 stack. Tic Tac Toe is clowning me, you're 100% right. I did, I took out Emmerich in like the first 10 turns of the campaign. He just assumed he teleported away, I know. I know, he did. I made a server, it's called Turin Chat FFA if anyone wants to play. Oh, that sounds fun. Right on, brother. How long have we been streaming for? Hey, we have a new member, Remy Cura. Thank you so much, man. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. I'm having so much fun. Oh, Tic-tac-toe. So we're going to move back, recruit some more Goblin Archers. And then maybe consider attacking there. So we have trolling. Oh yeah, the trolling upgrade. So then we can get scrap upgrades on our trolls, which I'm really excited to show you guys. Yep, we'll be able to get it next turn. Like all this will open up. All right, there we go. I think we're good. Let's get a military alliance with him. Come on, dude. Do I have to like offer you a small pitiful payment? Oh, I have no money. Okay. Cool. If I get a military alliance with him, I'll be able to see if... Oh, uh, homeboy comes down here. All right. Yeah, Avres, I think, is got, probably going to come for me. So I might have to send my goblin army up to go deal with uh, Eltharian. 
A defensive alliance. Uh, who are they at war with? Um, yeah, I mean, Setra is is doing his thing. I could I could be friends with Setra, but I don't think we need this right now. I don't know. I don't want to be that committed. <laughs> okay, the Chaos Armies are trundling through. So now we can look at the upgrades for the Trolls. So Stone Trolls can get Reinforced Weapons or Perfect Vigor. Man, Reinforced Weapons is a lot of extra damage. Let's just try that. So now these trolls have 188 weapon strength. Holy shit. Our regular trolls here. Let's upgrade them. We're, we're just going to the club. Screw the vigor. Because our battles are fast and furious. Man, so all of our trolls now have like 100, 180, 157 on these trolls. Oh my god. It's going to be pound town for the city here. Gonna squish them. Gonna squish them, dude, all day. Uh, oh yeah, we're sacking that. We got the rest of the errors, which is nice. So Grom can't quite reach the city, so we'll go into Raiden's Stamp. Though it seems to hurt us, so we're not going to do that. Man, those are some thick trolls. Uh, I have no insight on the, the Orc Big Boss now. Because we don't have it in our current version. Uh, Matthew G. Naughty, turn, can you get more ROR? Yes, I will. And Remy says, evening, Grandmaster Turn. Really enjoying the campaign streams? Keep them coming? I will. Thank you for joining. Thank you guys all so much. And Remy, really appreciate it. We actually do have a troll toll emoji. Those trolls are thick as hell, though. Tic Tac, I don't know what his stack entails. Like, my goblin might be able to win. Oh, the Swamp Fings! The ROR trolls are here! Oh, the Swamp Fings. Now, those are going to go with this army. So I feel like we can kind of start tuning down the pump wagon game a little bit. The Swamp Fings are here. The ROR Trolls. These things are so cool. And we can upgrade them too. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. The Swamp Fings. We have some Fanatics that we can get to. So let's cut you guys. Get the Fanatics. Are those the Fanatics or the regular ones? Oh, they're just the, the regular Night Goblins. Still doesn't hurt. We can cut Pump Wagon here. And get the uh, ROR's. Very good. So now we have a little bit more of a well-rounded army. This guy can recruit. Oh, look at this. So something, guys, to point out. Once we get our trophy, we are going to be able to recruit Lava, Arachnoc, Spiders, like Armored... Like, we're going to be able to recruit these units as ROR's, uh, the Feral Wyverns. So we just need to get the trophy, which we'll get in six turns for... Uh... Wait, are they still here? No way, they're back. Okay, I was like... No way, they're back. Is there any cooking we can do? We want to use the hags, so there's no point in cooking until her duration runs out. All right, Sentry Glade, get some garrison. It's fine. The Goblin King never loses. Let's get language of the boys, and we'll get the hag as well. Uh, hag again. We'll uh, slimy shanks gives more hit points. Now. And you're just gonna sit in ambush. Oh, we got some stuff here. Get you, get you. All right, that was a big economic investment, but it's going to be okay. And now we have Gork or Mork. Hero recruitment, diplomatic relations with all factions? What? That's a weird one. Okay, so leadership for goblin units, casualty replan for goblin units for sure. New recipe discovered. Okay. So let's see what recipes we have at the moment. So we have the shroom, we have the bugman's battered ribs. We have the filthy. Okay, so we have four recipes. We're getting there. All right, let me grab my phone here real quick, guys. So I can answer your questions a little bit better. So I'm so focused on everything here. Yeah. We don't want to do battle here with the uh, with Krokar yet. Oh my god, did he just ninja that from me? Oh my god, what a freaking trollmonger. It's okay, we'll come back for him later. But for now, Tic-Tac-Toe has to pay. Uh, how far can we get? So if we go underway. Yeah, we can get like right over here. Um, I want to get to Tzlaqua. 
If we can get there in the next five turns, we'll still have a wah. It's time to crump this guy. He's going to be an ambush here. He still has a couple wah units. I'm pretty sure he could win against Tic Tac also. Everybody can beat Tic Tac Toe. He wants a defensive alliance. Uh, Turin, don't forget the Shaman building. You do have the money for it now. Oh, that's true. Any difference between the Dark Elf Feral Hydra and this one? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, we should get the Shaman building. That's that's a that's a really good point. Thank you for reminding me. I'm just so excited with all these upgrades. Okay, 5,000 Gs. We'll go to Karak Zorn. And now we can get the Shaman building. This will allow us to recruit uh, some good characters, support characters. All right, I think we're good. Pass turn. It's time to crump Tic Tac Toe. Man, Crocard is trolling me hard. And the Skaven. And Tic Tac. I have a couple turns with my Wa army, so I really want to capitalize on that while we can. All right. So Grom the Paunch. I could go to Tlaqua while they're like kind of with their pants down here before they can react. Which is probably the smart play. Yeah, there's just a jankity army over there. Okay, so Grom will get that next turn. We still have the Wah. But you can see currently uh, we're about to run pretty low on steam here. Is that guys? Anything else we want to do in our main regions? Not really. We're just kind of playing the, the sacking and raiding game right now. Definitely would like to complete these provinces. And looks good. Fast turn. Turn, where does the Paunch start on Mortal Empires? He starts in Massive Oracle, which is uh, in Bretonia. It's a pretty fun starting position, actually. But this one has like a lot of unique stuff that that particular campaign does not. I, I should probably try and get a peace treaty with Eshin, too, just so they don't show up with like a stupid stack. Okay, so... Corpulent Majesty, I love it. So let's see if we can get peace with the Skaven. How many settlements did he have? Oh, he has one settlement? Why would he not want peace? He's like getting wrecked. Anyways, not here to ask questions. I'm just gonna take it as it is. We'll keep buffing up him, so we'll get elusive. And now it is time to use our Wah, the last of the Wah, to take out Slakwa. Hopefully it'll be an easy auto-resolve. It might not be. Um, we could probably auto-resolve this, to be honest. Yeah. Fine, we, we have so much, it doesn't even matter. Oh my god, 20,000. Oh, give it to me. We'll occupy. Who needs an economy when you can just do this all day? So Wolf Rider building's pretty much useless. What do we have here? Oh, we have a Beast Lair. <laughs> That's cool. So we'll go ahead and get some uh, some walls here, I guess. That's so pitiful. Get the growth building. And Tic Tac will then probably rush south or rush my territory and be pulled into an ambush, which is what I'm hoping for. I don't know how good his skinks are. Karak Zorn. This does give us... Uh, hmm, it's pretty good. Anything else we want to upgrade? Everything seems fine here. Get that to get the diamond mine upgraded as well. Can you rename your shaman Donald Crump? Oh, hell yeah. The Shaman? I, I can't because he's a legendary guy. Okay. He's he's our legendary dude, so I'll rename I'll rename this goblin big boss Donald Crump. <laughs> That's so good. Donald Crump. Oh man, and when we recruit another character, I'm open to suggestions as well, buddy. That was that was really good. Props there. Missile resist on the troll. To the Hydra and Wyvern benefit from battle skills. We'll find out together. We'll find out today. Antioch, screw it. Just upgrade everything. We have so much money. We have so much money indeed. Money goes quick. But we should be able to secure Tlaqua, Statue of the Gods, and then the Monolith on the far side. I think that's the Skaven's last territory. Alright, and pass turn. That was a that was a good loot and we had there, boys. Oh, did I put a C? Okay, so. I wonder if we can win this, actually. I don't know how he discovered my ambush. He's got, like, Silver Chevron and all these guys. We have the Squake Hoppers, though. And we also have some Trolls. And the Logie Bogies. It's a little bit scary, to be honest. We might lose this. 
Thankfully, okay. You know what? Let's fight it. Because, like, worst case, we do so much damage to this army. My concern is that they're... I don't have, like, the same goblin buffs. Yeah, they have much better combat stats. But we have the Wah, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. Okay. A little bit nervous about this fight, to be honest. All right, so let's get our archers back here. We might lose this character. I could have maybe fallen back, but I figured with the trolls, the Logi Bogies Spore Splota's ROR wagon is really strong. Jared, Jared Grump. Uh, oh my god. Okay, sports blow does gamble, we'll start battle. So we need to get our reinforcements. That's gonna like help normalize the bounce power a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Trolls will give us like some decent battle line here. Okay, so Pterodon Riders will hopefully come meet their doom like super quick. And that's what I need to kind of bank on here. We can send the Logi Bogies to go troll a little bit. Although we need to keep it alive. The Logi Bogies Sports Blow does have some really good uh, buffs, actually. Those are some strong, strong skinks, though. I might, I might be in trouble. Hopefully, they'll just come land on us. We do have the nastier squigs, I think. No, we actually haven't gotten that yet. All right, so let's get you guys. Just waste them. If they're gonna sacrifice pterodons for us. I'm not gonna ask questions. Oh, that's right. We have the spiderling summon. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, we have the unique summon ability. So let's get some some guys out here to support. These squig hoppers will move up. Very good. So they're down for the count. We have Spiderling summons. So we can actually use this just to like chase skirmishers and stuff. So let's get the goblins going in here. Then we'll attack. And then we'll pull these guys around the back for this round. So these guys will come around the back and we'll get the full surround. Which should be pretty wrecked. Should be able to do well for ourselves there. Oh, hello. Where are you going, bud? Summon some hatchlings. And you guys can switch and shoot here. Great. Alright, so crumping, crumpeting is happening. We're getting some good crumping. We'll have a wall relatively soon. Over here we've done some good damage, but Tic Tac's there, so we want to pull back. Spore Splotas are wrecking the skinks, as is, as is expected. Alright, let's get our archers. Go here. Sneaky stab in here. And we were able to wreck that position, but the... Uh, the flying pterodactyl is doing some, some damage for sure. We'll come back in. Let's go ahead and send in the reinforcements here. Get you guys coming in here. Get these archers back this way. And these squig hoppers can go ahead and... Wow, those, those damn flyers are causing some, some grief for us here. You know, honestly, if Tic Tac wants to fight, we can. I'll just let the scrap go here. So having that unique Arachnos, Arachno build... Uh, Ability is really nice. We're going to move over here to get the archers in position. Trolls, let's pull back. They're just river trolls, so they're not going to be super independent. Our hatchlings. And Tic Tac's taking a bit of damage, actually. Alright, so two of you guys go here. Two of you guys go here. Squig Hopper is about to get wrecked, but that's alright. Then we can pile back in. Give Sneaky Stabbing. We also have a Spiderling Summon, so we'll do that in the back to try and get some uh, breaks on them. Good, so we broke this formation, so let's get them up around the side. Air Force is going well. Alright, good. So everything looks more or less okay. Tic-Tac-Toe at least is distracted on the edge of the map. The Ogie Bogey Spore Splotas, they need to be in there, because they have a big AoE explosion. Yeah, how are we doing here? Come on, Ogie Bogies. Send in some reinforcements here. Should have a second wall here in just a moment. Alright. And the Spore Splotas going to get in there. We have Vindictive Glares. Let's pop one here. Shoot them. Pull you guys. Shoot here. Trolls! Make them pay the toll! This is a freaking gold chevron. Business happening here. This is good, though. This is going to level up our, our dude. One archer here. One here to make sure those flyers don't come back. Yeah, we need to take down the flyers. Those bastards are nasty. The Spore Splotas, how many kills do they have? Ooh, 65. That's pretty good. Maybe we can crump Tic Tac for once. Get some Squig Hoppers to help out. 
So we need to chase down as much as we can. Hey, Tyler Brett, can't wait to get Ard. Dude, I'm so Ard right now. You have no idea. Yeah, Scrimgore's uh, faction is going to be really fun too. So we're going to do a little bit of chasing. Trolls, skinks, because we're going to have to like still deal with this army, so we want to get as much as we possibly can. That battle made me Ard. It's always scary with goblins too. Like Everything can just go south in the blink of an eye. All right, guys, we did it. Uh, we're on very hard. Yeah, very hard, very hard. We're on the hardest battle difficulty because there is no legendary battle difficulty anymore. It's just very hard. Um, and we're on uh, on very hard difficulty, which is more fun for showcase streams. If I'm doing like a challenge stream, I'll play on legendary like Sigvald or something. But yeah, that's that. We crumped him good. We crumped him nice and good. That's enough. I hate I, I, a heroic victory. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, look at our goblins. They like took no damage. Rachnik is just such a pimp. Look at him with his his cool hat. Do all the lords get Grom special wa? No, only he does. Does the AI Greenskin faction get wa armies as well? Yes, they do, and it's really nasty. If you when I played uh Eltharian's campaign, I almost lost the campaign because of that at one point. I barely won this battle. I was like, oh god. Because I was like, oh, they're not gonna be strong, and then suddenly there's like an erect wa just at my front door. I'm like, oh no. So we get, uh, oh, we got the trade for taking out Tic-Tac-Toe. Campaign movement range, that's nice. Got to check for, like, Eltharian, make sure he's not creeping over here. Crowd Marcher. Nastier Squigs might actually be better, but I think just getting the movement to get in there. Okay, so we got a Toad. A Garrison there is something. Statue of the Gods I need to take out. Our Wah has two turns left. Slakwa. They are dead meat indeed, brother. Oh my god, the money these guys were hoarding. Can I reach it, unfortunately? I don't know if I can. Come on, Grom. Hey, you can't quite make it back. It is okay. So, roll him over. Attacks cause rattled effect, reducing combat ability and charge bonus of 50. Uh, This one gives for all goblin... Pump, for all goblin, pump wagon, night goblin, squig herds. This is just like, yeah, goblins. This one is for orcs. This one's for trolls. Yeah, we'll get this. This is like for all our pump wagons and various units. And then we'll get the troll one next. Hey, look at that. We got uh, some good items, actually. Armor of Gork. Hell yeah, give me that. So he's just going to hang out here. His lovely hag, his, his beloved, has leveled up as well. For her, we're just going to get defensive abilities if we can. Wow, that is fine. A little goblin that could. We'll get slippery. Tlaqua. Can we get walls? Yeah, we just get walls at Tlaqua. That was a lot of money. Turn. Are any free units from the Greenskins aside from... Are any free units for Greenskins aside from DLC? Yeah, the FLC units has like new campaign units like the Lava Spider and a couple other things like that. Um, Neiman says, Turn, do you think... All Warhammer races should get a start position in Vortex. Yeah, I, th I think so. Like a really short kind of sub-mission. So here I, I want to crump these guys. He's got he's got an extra Lord. His army is still wounded. And he's got the Plain of Tusker's garrison, which is really small. I think what we do is we recruit some ROR's. And then we go in. So we'll get you guys combined. So we'll get the uh, Moon Howlers to ride down some of the threats, and we'll go for it. Send in the spiders. <laughs> yeah, we can win this. So we'll uh, we'll fight this. That's like easier than the last battle we fought. There's no Tic Tac. Can you test Eltharian's Helm of Irrestability in 2v2 with a bloated corpse? That could actually be fun. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Do it. Black work, big boss. No, we don't. We don't have that information, unfortunately. I wish I did. So we have our wa for like a little bit longer. We use gobos. We, use gobos. we gotta secure the the lands. We can't let the uh, the foul lizard men take what is rightfully the gobos. Rackney spider claw is definitely very cool. I know, the lizard's causing problems. 
Yeah, I'm going to get spider riders for sure. Like, we're going to make this a whole spider-themed army. But for now, it's like we're kind of just, like, scrapping and trying to, like, expand. But once we get to a point where we can stabilize, I will build some spider rider tech. All right, let's see what you guys got. So they're coming. We have our the remnants of our Haggard Wah, which we'll send over here. The trolls up in the main battle lines. Their army's pretty beat to shit. Oh, we got a, a wand of jet. Could shoot some missiles here. All right, so we'll get you guys here. Just about taking out the pterodon. So we actually blast one. Hey, we got one out of the sky. That's nice. All right, so we'll put the archers in group five for now. We'll do a big ugly move order attack. First, let's get the squeak hoppers around and the moon howlers too. Moon howlers actually do cause fear, which is really useful. Let's move up just ever so slightly. Let's go get. Let's get that crumpin' on. So we'll just give a. Oh, I hate when that happens. Now these guys can just square up here. We'll get the trolls going in the center mass. Get squeak hoppers pushing in there. Great, let's uh, get our flank collapse. Squeak hoppers can help munch on these guys. Moon howlers can come around the back. Troll toll will be paid here in the center. We get a issue nuisance or sneaky stabbing to those guys. It should be fine. All right, so the air force is getting crumped. Get some gobos around the back. Moon howlers are chasing down skirmishers. And the logi bogey spore splodas are exploding. So Waz active, that should give us a huge edge in the crumping. Shoot another vindictive glare up there. You guys come around the back, and the Moon Howlers aren't like crazy combatants, so we should probably pull them back before they get crumped. Summon some spiders on top of those guys. Then we'll use this to get some Winds of Magic. Crump! Crump harder! And the Air Boys, or not Air Boys, but Goblin Archers, set them up here. Yeah, this army's gonna have like, we're gonna get Lava Spiders, it's gonna be sweet. Those are Saurus, so let's avoid them if we can. Got for the skink skirmishers, very good. Are these croc scores? Ooh, croc score ancient. Logi bogey, spore explode is coming down there. Should only be a matter of time before we crump. Uh, the DLC comes out on the 21st, so uh, I think it's like a week from now. I don't even know what day it is. With all this quarantine stuff, I'm like, forget what year it is, what day it is. Things just get wild. You can ride here. This is good though. This com this basically completes our, our first couple provinces and. We're going to make some big progress tomorrow, too. This one's a big in. This one's a big in? <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, so what do we have? A slime here? Uh, actually, shooting the croc scores is probably better. Yeah, croc score ancient there needs to go. Once you break the back of the Saurus, should be enough. Honestly, fast forwarding here at this point is probably prudent. Oh, psychic. Wizard battle between those units. Let's move, let's move. And they have been officially crumped, it looks like. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get the big old toad at this point. Wolf Riders can slam into the back, hopefully break their leadership. Might actually be able to get another Wah too. And I think we probably have another spider summon. We do. So we don't need to chase here, since this was a city battle. Hey, Calvin uh, Fuchs, thank you so much for uh, becoming a sponsor here on the channel, man. Hopefully you enjoy the Palpatine uh, introduction. As we move on. Yes, good. So Tic-Tac-Toe has been crumped by Rachnik Spider Claw, our unique Lord. We gotta fix Donald Crump too. Donald Crump is, uh, he needs to be changed. His, there needs to be a K. Very good. Yeah, let's occupy it. It's not, it's not worth sitting around for a turn. Come on, give us the plane. Yes, plane of Tuskers. Upgrade it. We have a unique building here. Oh, we actually have a beast lair. Another one. Hmm. Hmm. Very cool. All right. So, homeboy, will get nastier squigs to buff up his squig units, and uh, we will be able to recruit the lava arachnog very soon, like in the next couple turns. 
Grom the Paunch is getting ready to raid. Oh, yeah, we can... Oh, man! We can get a level 5 Stronghold here, which means... Which means probably the Rogue Idol will be coming in tomorrow's episode. Like, actual Rogue Idol recruitment. Etc. Do we want to get a defensive alliance with Setra? What do you guys think in chat? Let me know what you're thinking. I, I kind of like the idea because it lets me see Altharian coming. But then I kind of have to like be dragged into random battles. Let me know. Setra and Paunch tag team. Oh, yes. We got a Tormentor Sword. Let's go ahead and give that to you. Hand weapon, Tormentor Sword. And uh, yeah, everyone's healing here, which looks good. How could I screw that up? I'm so sorry, guys. I know everything's with a K with the orcs. You like the you like the alliance idea with Setra? I think I do too. He probably he might not take it anymore, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, so for the plane here, we'll take growth and public order. Karak Zorn is getting to lo the max level, which is pretty insane, and we'll be able to secure this region. Chariots into the sunset. Yes, the the chariot alliance shall be formed. We're higher strength than him. What is he struggling against? He's just battling all the like, random Bretonian factions. Yeah, he doesn't even want it now. Okay, well, if he comes back later and offers it, we'll consider. All right, guys, next turn. Yeah, I want it. If he if he won't take the alliance, he'll have to be crumped like everyone else. So Grom is going to smash these guys. And then uh, we might have to smash lizards down in the south, too. Okay, very good. So we got some good technology on second thought. So minus 20 upkeep for all goblins. Wow, that's good. Okay. Because we're going to be going ham into the goblin department for sure. All right, let's take this. The wall will be disappearing here soon. Worship Grom. Wow. This giant Croxagore beast is having some issues. So we've secured this region. So now this little goblin needs to probably head back to provide security for the main region. Oh, yeah. It's going to head over there. Which is fine. Our Wa is about to disappear, which means we'll get our trophy. Uh, for the Hag's recipe, we still have six turns. And her recipe is just so much better. I mean, growth, obedience, plus eight for all provinces. Like, reputation. We, we can't, like, get rid of that. But we do have some new ingredients. Yeah, we have Monster Goo. We have Stinky Fungi. We have uh, Winged Leather, and we're about to get the Phoenix Claw, too. So we're going to open up a ton of recipes here. Does Emmerich participate? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't checked, checked in on our boy Emmerich yet. So now we're going to get uh, the stuff that buffs up the trolls and the rogue idols. Yeah, look at this. 203 weapon strength on the stone trolls. The other trolls are much weaker, but 157 on those ones, it's just like, it's so mean. Let's go ahead and buff up the uh, reinforced weapons. Yeah. For you, and survivalist is always nice. We have this guy, he's just going to go meet his end at the uh, hands of an auto resolve. So once the Hag's recipe is done, we'll cook a bunch. What is the special building in Kasabar? So it's called the City of uh, Bronze, and it gives you income, recruitment duration for all units, and uh, recruitment cost. It's pretty good, actually. Very good. Next turn. I feel like if we just stream for like six hours, we could beat this campaign, like straight up. It's not as fast as Emmerich's campaign. Emmerich has... Uh, not Emmerich, uh, Eltharian. Eltharian has the uh, fastest campaign in the game, I think. You guys will see. Can you name your next lord or hero Crumpin, <laughs> Crumpin, Crumple Siltskin? Oh, dude, that's so good. You guys are just so much. Okay, let's just take out this sausage again. If we can. Great, he's coming back. I'll be back. So, okay, so we got the banner. Obtain one banner, call to Wa. Oh, and it completes a quest. So we get the lucky banner on the paunch now. Melee defense for the Lord's army plus one. <laughs> Ward save plus 10 and then a bunch of uh, magical items. And So Grom just got his lucky banner. Okay, that's really cool. What other quests do we have? We have so many. The Axe of Grom. Yeah, we have to move a character to Xandri. I've been neglecting to do that. Can we like recruit someone? We can recruit a shaman, yeah. I should have done this earlier, guys. My apologies. Uh, tough. Intelligent. Cunning. Who's cheaper? 
and they're the same. So Grom already has a caster, um, but nonetheless, we'll get a get a big wall caster for Grom. So we'll get the cunning one, I guess. Intelligent, yeah, it's fine. And then we're gonna recruit another character as well. That's Lord. Get a little shaman, and the little shaman can be the uh, scout. He's gonna run up north and kind of see what's cracking. And then this guy is going to go join the uh, the other army we have. Since we have some, you know, brain busters and things like that. Okay. So we'll send a character to Zandri to get the quest going. I've just been so, like, on conquest mode here. Discover 12 recipes. So these are the main quest lines, yeah. Intone. Entirely own six provinces, which gives us a random ingredient. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. We're all set. I think Grom moved. He moved. The Wah is now over. So you can see currently we're in the Stragla. So we have to build that back up now. Yeah. Crumping. Everybody's been crumping. Crumping USA. <laughs> if I knew the rest of the lyrics, I could make a pretty good song. But honestly, mo nobody knows more than the first couple lyrics to those Beach Boy songs. All right. Immortality. Take it. It's yours. You're going there, you're going to go up here. Cross paths, high five each other on the way, do do what you got to do. Our economy is coming back, which is great. How are we doing with the lizards? Seems like they're kind of like crappy too. Yeah. Well, Grom will have to battle them at some point. So let's go secure this region. I don't know why, there must be a Skaven here. Plane of Tuskers. Let's go ahead and get some crappy walls if we can. Unassigned skill points. Oh, yeah. On the spider guy. We have Don't Even Try It. This is a new ability. We'll actually get it. It's Arcane Unforging. We'll get some spider infrastructure at Casa Bar because we have the recruitment buffs from the... Uh, although Mount Arachnos, too, could be where we get our spiders. Let me look. So the unique building here... They got stuck? Okay. <laughs> got it. Yeah, so we're gonna... Hmm. Yeah, this is... The Lair of the Broodmother is pretty good. So we're gonna go to Mount Arachnos and uh, get rid of the growth building, since we don't really need it anymore. And we're gonna get the Spider Lair there, and then we can take this character to go um, recruit in that region. So he's just gonna be it over. And get in here, and he's gonna start doing his spider fun business. That's so funny that the agents got stuck. And he can just meet you up here, actually. That's fine. All right. Uh, everything looks good. The Hag's recipe has four turns left. Although, let's go ahead and explore. Oh, yeah. Let's do that, too. The Wah unit. So, basically, I can't show you right now because we're we're moving around. But if I do ROR recruitment, I can recruit the big beasties. So, I can recruit the Lava Arachnox Spider, the Feral Hydra, the Wyvern. So what I'm going to do is get the spider and the spider guy's army because he has unique buffs for spider units. And uh, I'll probably get like a feral wyvern in like Grom's army or something. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. So yeah, we'll get the Lava Arachnok. It has 600 upkeep costs, so it's not like a small investment, but that's okay. Everybody's gone crumping. Crumping USA. <laughs> George Crumpington, that's pretty good too. I almost want to take the corruption. What is it, five turns? Yes, take the money, Anakin, do it. Probably going to regret that, but it's okay. Uh, all right, so we can upgrade this, get closer to Fanatic Tech, although Mount Arachnos is where the spider goodness is. Spring of Eternal Life, we don't want to mess with Cetra at the moment. All right, so that's good. We'll recruit the ROR spider when the time comes. Bonch is going to see what's cracking here. This Crocs Gore just wandering around aimlessly. Oh, we have to colonize it. This sucks. Yeah, we're going to do it. That sucks for sure, but... We just have to hope we don't get, like, jumped right now. Yeah, I mean, even still, our army still has a little bit of fight in it. That's a, that's a risky settle right there. We already have Trollin. We have Trollin here. And currently we're getting on second thoughts, which lowers the uh, upkeep 
of like all goblin units, it's really strong. It's actually a decent region too. What kind of a recruitment infrastructure would we want to get here? Let's just get the shiny piles of money for now. We have this completed, so let's take growth and obedience. And pass turn. Hey, what's going on, Andrew Cohen? Oh, I totally forgot to give these guys their orders. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and we have a we have a hag here too who we need to meet. So we're gonna send our our great shaman to go talk to the uh, food merchant. So we currently have the high elf trophy. So we have a huge research rate buff and missile buff, which obviously isn't super great for us, but it's not terrible either. Yeah, that's war. Okay, it's here. The day has finally come. Okay, and we'll take him out. Should be able to heal up for like, if we sit here for two turns. Yeah, we'll finish the Hag's quest, but I don't want to make new stuff because right now we have the Hag's unique recipe, which is like super strong. Man, why are they all declaring war on us? Goodness gracious. Just hate us. So Krokgar is going to be attacking us soon. I don't know where his armies are, but he declared war. Um, so we got to be aware of that. In our main region, we're about to get tier 5, which means we can start pumping up the rogue idol tech. We can get to the Hag here, which is nice. Little Goblin's going to go up to Zandri, which is... Uh... Yeah, let me see where that is. This is for the Axe of Grom. Okay, Zandri's over there. Yeah. Uh, Lizard Legs, Hag Surprise. Take the Lizard Legs. We'll take some new ingredients. Little Goblin's going to head to Zandri. And you, we can cut one of our Goblins here. Get the Orc Shaman. Into motion. Yes, you are, brother. All right. Everything looks good here. How's it going, Fab? Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos, man. I'm, I'm enjoying uh, playing this these campaigns. Grom the Paunch. We'll get to great on this here. And for you... Cornered Rat. Oh, my God. That's so funny. So we can't... Hmm. Which one do we want to get in Grom's army? The Lava or Ragnarok? You cannot recruit. Like, because in Grom we could take the Feral Wyvern too, which is kind of fun. I feel like the Lava or Ragnarok's better suited, but actually I think we need it in his army since he's going to be fighting like Krokar. So we'll cut down one Pump Wagon. All right, guys, we got the Lava or Ragnarok Spider. I normally would put it in the Spider Guy's army, but he's going to be up north and like not fighting dinosaurs, and we need an anti-large beast here. So that feels more prudent to me. Um, anyways, we're going to chill out here. I'm sorry, Vandal. I'm sorry. We have to. And you... I know, you are special, bud. You're doing great. Yeah, because we're about to get attacked, so we're just going to go have to squash all these territories down here. And most of them aren't like great to settle, so we might just raise them too. So we don't overextend too bad. We're going to, uh, we can, I don't know if we can recruit the spider in both armies, but nonetheless, we will get more over the campaign. But he, Grom needs it because he's going to be fighting dinos down here and we need some anti-large. I mean, trolls could probably do the trick because they're so juiced up. Okay, so recipes, let's make something new here. So currently we have the cauldron dish. Okay, so we get the bat wings. What does that give? So that is... Anti-large missiles for goblins. Wow, that's going to be good. Phoenix Claw gives us... Okay, so most of these... Are these all missiles? Yeah. Airborne creature parts. So the hag, for her cooking... She wants us to uh, cook for the hag. A dish would need three things in it. Something with flying. Okay, so she just wants something with flying. Okay, so... Yeah, that's fine. Take the anti-large fire. This one gives us reputation and growth, which I love. What else do we have? Monstrous disease for wow! Monstrous disease for trolls and giants. Check that out. So what does that do? Slimy smoothie. Uh, monstrous disease. We'll have to check it out and re recruit rank for trolls in all armies. Okay, let's try it. We have some extra flavor in there. Don't wanna see no soggy bottom. Oh yeah. So that I guess that didn't satisfy the hag. 
A dish, what needs free things in it. Me want something with flying gubbins. Hmm. Well, we'll get to it later. Yeah, lava spiders are really good. But now our trolls have a... Uh... Oh, wow, look at this. So trolls have monstrous disease. Plus eight leadership. Plus, oh man, I don't even need the spider in this army. Look at this. It gives bonus first large to all my trolls, which have, the stone trolls have 191 strength. Oh man, that is so cool. I got to recruit some more stone trolls in this, in Grom's army. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Rip vampire counts versus lava spider, I know. Just mortis engineing down all their trashy units. Because the spider has a mortis engine effect also, which is really good. <laughs> Sooner or later, you're going in Grom's punch. <laughs> All right, who are they? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. We might, we might as well. How many territories do they have? It doesn't matter. Sure, Rat. I don't even know where you are, but I don't give a shit. It's fine. I could have asked for some money too, but whatever. Grom is the ideal male body. I know he is. It's so true. Public order is going to become an issue. Now that we don't have the hag's delightful cooking, you can see we're taking a little bit of corruption everywhere. Um, get in my belly. Now they'll say. Where or oh, where do we go crumping? So we have the goblin defending in the north. He, we have Mount Arachnos, so we can get some spider hatchlings. We have two more building slots now. The great uns is here. So we'll just get a pile of gold for now. So spider claw needs to get busy. For sure. Probably head down south and start like underwaying and taking out the lizard men territories here would be the smart play. Can we actually settle these? They're not great. I think we've expanded enough enough in this campaign to be honest. I think we just because we can make like a lot more recipes actually. So we'll come down here. We're gonna start crumping on the coast. Where does Grom start? Mortal Empires, massive four call. In Bretonia, yeah. Okay, so... Hmm. Part of me wants to switch back the recipe, though. Like, which ones do we know? This one has been... Uh, yeah, we don't have the recipes for that one quite yet. Hmm. Yeah, we need, like... Because the one that gave, like, the Hag's recipe was so good. It gave, like, all those uh, anti-rebellion things. I think just crumping down here is fine. And settling this is good, because it completes our province, too. All right, so we're gonna go down there and smash those guys. The dwarves here hate us, but whatever, it's fine. I don't know if we can get any like sort of. It's actually starting to like like us less and less. Let's uh, <laughs> it's fine. All right, so we have ooh, that's pretty good. Global recruitment capacity plus two and global recruitment duration. Gork and Mork is something fun. Pull and teeth here gives us extortion rate. Spider worship gives us. Scrap upgrades for spider riders, but again, we spider riders just aren't going to be that great in that army, so we'll probably just go Arachnox spider. We'll do extortion rate, it's fine. All right, next turn. Little goblins heading to Zandri. I got to check how long I've been streaming to. There's, there's Setri, our boy here, which is battling the glorious Bretonians as he does. Yeah, they actually changed Grimgore, so I, I know you guys probably saw in the rework that Grimgore kind of looks like a Shrek monster, but he, uh, they, they made it so he's not as green. Apparently that was just a, a texturing mistake. All right. We have a donation coming in from Andrew Cohen. Thank you so much for the 20 bucks. He says, you the baddest. Thank you, man. Right back at you. We're trying to be bad. Bad to the bone. Thank you so much, man. Two hours? You guys say two hours, but what is it really? Two hours and 45 minutes, aha! The plot thickens. We're heading up to Zandri. You have a hag here. Oh, look at that! We'll, we'll go back and meet up with the hag eventually. All right, Croc, you started this, remember. We're gonna auto-resolve crump all over your face and build up our wall again. Grom taking all the money for his big, thick hide. So now we can go, okay, so we can do the real Axe of Gromp. So what we'll do is we'll uh, fight this quest battle and that'll be probably the end of today's episode. Because I only have 
a certain amount of time I'm allowed to stream over the course of uh, the next couple days, so I want to make sure it's it's all all good. This region can get growth. There's a little bit of chaos corruption here, which sucks. But yeah, our infrastructure is getting pretty fat. Get the Haggard Orc Harbor. Let's go upgrade one of our main buildings. Oh, guys, the Rogue Idol. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, little goblin. Alright, he's gonna go crumping down there. I, I just imagine the little hype goblin right now, like, dancing and waving his arms in excitement. All right, so we took that. That region is secured. We have the rogue idol, but guys, the most important thing is we have the rogue idol building coming now. So uh, probably in tomorrow's stream, there will be more rogue. There, there's going to be rogue idols. They're, they're coming. They're going to be in Grom's army. And I'm, what do they even have for scrap upgrades? 10 scrap per turn, reputation per turn. How do you get the rogue idols? Yeah, it's probably down here, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, scrap upgrades for the rogue idols. We'll, we'll head down that way. We're pulling some teeth right now, though, which we need to do anyways. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some multiplayer action coming up soon, so stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the troll here. Okay, let's give him some uh, reinforced weapons. Rusty errors. We don't have the upgrade tree for them. That's fine, because we're going more melee anyways. No, Gr Grimgor has been changed. He's no longer, like, neon-colored. How's public order here? Yeah. Difficulty level, corruption, minus four. Okay, so the corruption issue is... Taking that money was definitely not worth it. <laughs> uh, Grom is greedy, though. He would take it, for sure. Come on, let's let's be real. Oh, yes, we got the, the loonies. That's great. So you can see we're starting to kind of rotate out the pump wagons. Take the fanatics. Oh, my God, and a freaking feral hydra. Oh, it has really expensive upkeep, so I'm just going to take a little fanatic. The Paunch! Paunch is level 20, so we're going to take Rollum over. I don't know where Croc R is or what he, what he's even doing. Alright, so... Yeah, we probably need to honestly get some uh, public order stuff in these regions. This region's okay. We already have the, uh, the big pens there. There's nothing really we need to do here, I suppose. We will eventually get a full stack of fanatics, which will be pretty gangster. Here at Bagar, like to get a gatehouse, but we'll just chill for now. Any news on how they revamped Grimgore? Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I did a whole stream with it actually. He got a. I mean, he's just better in combat. He has like some new abilities. There's a lot of cool stuff for him. So like, what is going on with this guy down here? Well, anyways, let's go ahead and just start raising some of their territories. You are special, man. This magic is real. Yes, you're right. Oh, it's a siege battle. That's why. Goddamn siege battles. So we'll continue. We'll fight that siege battle eventually. We'll like just use our archers and game the system a little bit. Uh, so we need to build some siege equipment. Cool. So we'll take that out. That'll be fine. Um, we won't be settling down here, though. It's just too much to protect. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. My favorite upgrade for scraps is... Uh, here, let's go here. So we're going to teleport. Oh, do I have enough to teleport here, actually? Wait, is this an army here? Oh, okay. I was like, is there an army? Like, How much is it going to cost to teleport? To Axe of Grom. A thousand gold. Okay, so we have to cancel something. Come on, what were we building? I know we built something somewhere. Yeah, let's cancel this for now. Alright, guys, here we go. It's time for the Axe of Grom. Sounds like a Cone of the Barbarian thing. Alright. Treasury, bonus experience, Axe of Grom, pretty sweet. Let's do it, guys. We're not done yet. Wow, this is going to be one-sided if that's all they have. Our trolls are just... This is probably something we could have done way earlier. Alright, time for a Grom speech. So let's, let's all enjoy it. It's going to be fun. So yeah, this is going to be... We'll do this and then uh, we'll come back with the stream tomorrow. And uh, we'll, we'll crump some more gits for sure.
Yeah, Grim Gore was pretty bad before. No, he was actually quite bad before. All right, time for Grom's speech. Let's do it. I've had enough scene wagging with the skits. He's been hiding out here, bragging about how big he is. All just rumors. He's nothing. Look at his stupid ass. He's trying to make himself look bigger. You'll be even shorter once I cut him down to size and take back my axe. The lad's been saying they've seen some other gobbo skulking round here too. Best keep our eyes open. Guzzler's gonna get guzzled. There's only one king of the gobbos, and that's me. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Good speech. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our front lines. Just like this. Archers in the secondary. Oh my god, we have such a troll toll army, guys. Look at this thing. And we have a lava Arachnarok, too. Grom's all thick now. Slime smoothie creates healing bursts from source. Wow. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that's the smoothie thing I was talking about. Pump wagons, you can see they're kind of becoming less effective as the campaign does progress on. The lava Arachnarok, Arachnoruption is coming. Yeah, Grimgore was definitely a, a weaker lord, for sure. Let's get the pump wagons in three. They can be with the paunch. We got the smoothies. This is actually a cool map. This one would be fun for multiplayer, I think, potentially. Uh, yeah, there's a couple like chokes in the middle, but this is a good multiplayer map. I have to try this one out. I know, dude. Grom was talking shit about the guy's hat. That's that's a low blow. That's a, you don't go there. <laughs> All right. That's fine. He can be in. He can be in there too. Let's roll. Autobots roll out. Paunch roll out. My trolls are so much stronger. Like look at these these pitiful trolls. Oh, my trolls have a discourage effect too. Oh man, my trolls from that upgrade. It's gonna be brutal, guys. So Grom must be keep the boss. Grom must keep boss cred by surviving. What must what must keep boss cred by surviving? What? So want me to let him live? No. Oh, I just have to survive with Grom the Paunch. Okay. I was like, that's kind of a weird way of putting it. Looks like there's some reinforcements coming in the back. Yeah, some like an Arachnox spider and a Doom Diver, but <laughs> the Arachnor eruption is going to be sweet. We just have to make sure to uh, pound their giant with our... Uh... Krom's pretty scary in melee combat. He's got a charge bonus of 157, so... Yeah, we have that flank coming in from the greenskins, but it's not going to get here in time. We're just squaring up right now. <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking smack about the hat. I know, it's so funny. I love the like. I love using a troll army. It's so fun. So we have purple sun too, which is going to be really nasty. Archers, we're just going to set them up to go after the giant, and everyone else can be just given a big old crump order. Yeah, they're just going to move forward. The paunch will come in himself. Well, got big boss. You got to be careful, buddy. You know, we could actually pull an MLG play right here. Let's go. Watch this. Oh yeah. Break their charge with the Tormentor Sword, counter charge with our own steroided trolls, and prosper. Pump Wagon, let's go. Archers need to go after that giant. And the Arachn Eruption! Oh yes. Arachn Eruption! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here after these trolls. Pump Wagons can come in and just push through into the archers. Get you going here. And great, everything's going to code. That giant should go down quick. Yes, Arachn Eruption, Pump Wagons, go! Just a bunch of screeching goblins. Let's try this healing. Oh, wow, so I have a targeted heal now with Grom. Imagine if they had that multiplayer, that'd be pretty gross, huh? Alright, so our hag here is taking a bit of a beating. She's gonna pull back. Summon the Rogue Idol as well. Purple Sun plus Rogue Idol, GG indeed. Ragnarok Spider can come over and help Crump. 
Skarsnik has sent his sneaky lads to ambush us both. Oh, I love it. That's so in theme. Where are Skarsnik's lads, though? Where are they? Are these allies? Who let this? Who let the squig loving gobble run off on his own? Where did he find all them squigs? So I apparently have a squig ally. Set up here. When do you guys switch there? Well, that was uh, one way to deal with it. We have the fanatics too, which we didn't even use. Let's go get the hag pushed off. Where is this ambush coming from? Just a bunch of annoying missile units. Good thing we have some archers. Are these our squigs? Oh, they are. Okay. So those squigs, yeah. I wasn't sure if they're going to be allies or enemies, but. All right. So big boy over here is just kind of pushing off the scraps. Looks like the squig hoppers are coming in from all angles. And the Arachnorok spider plus the rogue idol just pounded that front line. Yeah, this was a quest battle that we probably should have done much earlier. Some river trolls in here. Drop a spirit leash on them too. Cool, cool. Everything's looking good. Our squigs are just feasting. Yeah, because this we got this quest battle very early in the campaign, but we just like didn't do it. So we're going to drop a heal right here and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, it's healing him. That's cool. Let's go shoot those uh, skirmishers. Pump wagons. You know, they're not designed against trolls, but with the uh, the upgrades, they could probably take them out. Especially with the buff. To great uns is here. Leadership, melee attack, all kinds of goodies. Let's go finish off those guys. Isn't there supposed to be like a scars in the ambush coming somewhere, though? I'm looking around. Okay, yeah, there's an Arachnorok. Oh, is that actually Skarsnik? Oh, it is actually Skarsnik. Oh, wow, okay. Very cool. So we'll set up shop here. Reform ranks! Reform ranks! The Lava Arachnorok has some uh, business he'd like to settle with these guys. Controls are all regenerating and just taking like no damage too, which is really nice. All right, so we'll do some fast forwarding here. We didn't even get the Grom's Wah off, which is pretty funny. Oh, it looks like our squigs are just gonna go, so we might as well advance. Or we could just let the squigs do most of the work. All right, Grom, just go ch chomp on these spider riders here. Go over here. The trolls are just gonna march in. All right, go to regular speed. And uh, where's our Lava Arachnorok Spider? Yes, let's get it in there. Cause some problems. Come on, boys. Let's pump the jams. These nasty skulkers about to get pumped. Oh, yeah. Pump them, boys. Yes. <laughs> the pump wagons are so awesome. We're going in. The Lava Arachnorok time, baby. And the troll toll is about to be paid. Do a heal here. Heal up the boys. Skarsnik's just like standing and watching as like all of his stuff just gets annihilated. Snar Skarsnik is infantry sized, so we can actually really wreck him here with uh, our lord. Our trolls are just so sauced. It's what you get for your sneaky trap, Skarsnik. Although I'm a big fan, I must admit. We still don't have the Y yet because we haven't like. We've crushed everything so quick. <laughs> we haven't been in combat that long. Soul Blight! Give me the wah. Come on, give me Grom's wah. Just for the heals. We get it? Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, go! Well, that's that. <laughs> the battle is won! We've done it, my friends. We've conquered. The paunch has, has crumped both Skarsnik and Gitguzzler, but Skarsnik will escape into the shadows and be back. Skarsnik is like... One of the armies I would want to play if I played Fantasy again, when it, Old World comes back, is actually goblins and play with like Skarsnik and stuff. I think that'd be so much fun. <laughs> so we got the axe, which is great. Our army pretty much took no damage. Uh, for the punch. 
I guess we'll take Gargantuan Glutton. Gives him uh, some pretty good stats. We should probably start going blue for upkeep production too. Yeah, we probably should have been doing that. Oh, we got a new ingredient too. An Axe of Grom also is now equipped, so Grom's going to be quite a bit scarier. And now we have some uh, options. Yeah, we can upgrade to Lockwell. That's fine. Plane of Tuskers has some upgrade options. We'll get the Diamond Mine because it's basically a gold mine. And the Rogue Idols will be coming very, very soon to a campaign stream near you. Yeah, we did pump that git. Yes. He was guzzling and he got pumped hard. <laughs> I know. I know where this is going. All right. So, I think that was a good first episode, guys. We've we've had some serious crumping. Uh, next episode, we will be getting the Rogue Idol. It's coming in four turns. So what we'll do is with uh, the Paunch is we'll kind of cut across here. We'll come back up here to Karak Zorn, and Grom the Paunch will recruit like a couple Rogue Idols. We'll also replace his existing troops with Fanatics, which maybe we should just do that now. Yeah, these are Night Goblins. Fanatics are freaking tier 5 units now. Goodness gracious. So you need to be pretty rich to get those. Let's see what recipes we can cook too. What new ingredients we got. Oh wow, we got Harpy Heads. <laughs> so this is like, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of the ingredients we could get. Let's cook one more before we go. Who would win in a head-to-head -head campaign between Grom and Eltharion? It depends on who's playing them. They both have the chance of winning, I think. So armor. So this one gives regeneration for goblins. This one... Growth in all provinces is really nice. Yeah, the green spores are good because it helps you get back to your wall quicker. And then if we do something uh, with a little bit of extra flavor. Berserk for all orc inf infantry units. Oh, that's cool. Lizard eggs, so goblin, chariot squig herds. Troll meat is just so good. But let's, let's cook something different. Dragon breath ammunition projectiles. Ammunition for goblin, okay. Eagle side ammunition for a goblin. Okay, let's just see what we can cook here. Wyvern stew. Do we already have that? We don't. And let's throw some extra flavor in there, some troll meat. Kaboom! So now we have regeneration for our goblins, and we also have uh, some growth and reputation augmentation. We should be able to get another Watu in the next episode. So Grom, let's go ahead and do our movements for this turn. Actually, we could just do that when we come back. All right, guys. That's it for today. Lich109 says, uh, $5, thank you so much. And he says, Git Guzzler is an actual character who thought himself Grom's nemesis, but it was one-sided lore and Grom never knew Git Guzzler existed. That's pretty funny, dude. Uh, so then, yeah, basically, I, I heard that there was like a Black Orc hero that leaked on one of Create Assembly streams. We don't have access, like we don't have access, nor do we know anything about that, so. Uh, all right. So that is that, guys. I mean, we've certainly conquered. Honestly, I think uh, we're on turn 50 already. Goodness, we could, we could finish this campaign because, like, I'll probably get close to finishing it tomorrow because, basically, I can spam and cook, like, a ton of recipes here. We currently have one, two, three, four, six of the 12 we need, and I'm not even, like, aggressively cooking right now. So I'm going to save up scrap so we can cook, and, uh, and yeah. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think we're all set. The paunch will go. We're going to smash these lizards in the south with our lava arachnoc spider. And the rogue idols will be coming in the next episode, which is very, very exciting. And we'll also fight this battle with arachnic spider claw uh, in the next episode. It's a pretty good city, actually. It has some dinosaurs in there, but nothing that our little goblin archers can't handle now that they're all regenerating, which is so freaking awesome. I could go back and recruit, too. Like, underway back and recruit some like more powerful units, like a frail wyvern and stuff. He'll be one of the first ones to get a rogue idol, too. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's it for today. We are done. Grom the Paunch has succeeded in conquering. We're on turn 50, and I think we'll finish this campaign by, like, turn 80. So uh, I really think it's going to be a very quick stream. So, again, I just want to sincerely thank you guys all for joining. It was an absolute blast. Big thanks to the mods for helping out, even though we don't have Slanesh bots anymore, but we kind of miss them a little bit. But, uh, yep. Yeah, we um, Bugman's, I believe, is one of the recipes. This, like, eluded Bugman's brew. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining. Special thanks to Lich109, Andrew Cohen, Tyler Brett. We have uh, Lich109 again, Ruben Bunscoke, Young Wolf, 
Blade6077, Jeb Hasting, Richard Wirtz, Limey Panda, Italian Spartacus. Uh, unfortunately, I can't read your name, but you said extra thick. <laughs> Blake Sanders, uh, Robbed Gold, Low Moon Hopper. And, uh, and then also we have some new members on the channel. If we take a look, we have Calvin, we have Remy, and we do also have uh, Adriel. Thank you guys all so much for becoming members. Bambi, some extra crumpin' for your paunch. Dude, I'm going to go stuff my paunch into oblivion now. My paunch is going to be so bloated and distended that for tomorrow's stream, it's just going to be unstoppable. All right. Thank you, guys. Hey, APV dude, I appreciate it, man. Quite the compliment. More so in, more so in my younger days, but we still go hard. So yeah, this, this campaign is... We have to destroy Eltharian. So what will probably end up happening, actually, is... Grom will come back here, he'll recruit at Carrig Zorn, and then he'll go on his conquest up to the north to uh, take out uh, the Warden. I don't know, is the Warden still around? Like, yeah, he's got he's got these territories. This is like his starting region, so. Is that the Sword of Cain? Oh my god, Eltharian has the Sword of Cain, I think! Oh no! The Warden! Oh man, guys! Next, So make sure to tune in tomorrow, uh, same time, 9am uh, 9 Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be going in deep and uh, trying to get the rogue idols and take out Altharian and everything. I'm kind of curious actually what the upkeep is on those guys. So let's check that real quick. So rogue idols, their upkeep is 575. Oof. So we'll probably get like two rogue idols in each army. We'll get like one. We'll get like one with this guy and then uh, Grom will get a couple rogue idols. Because to recruit the ROR rogue idol, I have to be level 30. Yeah. The, the uh, Which we should get. I mean, we're level 21, so... Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it all. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps me out quite a bit. Leave a like on the way out. Definitely uh, helps me out. All right, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll be seeing you on the uh, other side relatively soon, tomorrow at 9 a.m. See you then.